Oh, you mean that same thing that happened last time? Just like, who the hell are you talking to? I'm talking to the viewers, man. I'm talking to the viewers. <laughs> Yeah, because that happened last time. I was like, who are you talking to? Oh, wait. <laughs> also, my grandma's birthday is tomorrow. It's awesome. Sick. Is she going to body slam somebody for her birthday? Nah, she don't have it in her no more. Uh, so, I mean, like, I think I think we, we sound, like, pretty even. Like, we, we're, we're pretty level. So just let me know when you uh, do a countdown, Jess, and let me know when to start. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Hello everybody and welcome to we still don't have a name for this. Maybe that should be the name. That should be uh, the name. No name. <laughs> no, it's just like we still don't have a name for this. Um, <laughs> that way we can just be like super professional and unprofessional at the same time. Oh. Uh, so let's see, we've got some stuff planned. We got we think that far ahead. Uh, we because we have uh, to go over the the leak list after uh, the last couple weeks we've been having uh, some pretty uh, interesting revelations. Uh, we've also got some evil game predictions, the announcement over what's happening with Dead or Alive, uh, any good news for 2018. We've each got our own personal top 10 game list, and uh, we've got some like uh, personal topics, or we might have some personal topics and anything else that uh, 2018 might bring for us, and then we'll say our goodbyes. Sounds good enough to me. I mean, you wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I am a genius. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we start off with the first topic that's on the written? Uh, yes. Let's go off the first one, which is we're gonna revisit that leak list. Because, uh, the last episode, uh, during our first episode, we were going off of the leak list that someone put in on Reddit, which had a lot of notes for Street Fighter V, a lot of notes for Marvel Infinite, uh, a lot of different notes for uh, like Namco games, and a bunch of Nintendo notes. And it's been about like what, one or two weeks since that list came out? It's been about three. It's been out for a minute. And, well, yeah, that's true. And but I'm talking like since the last podcast. Oh yeah, since the last podcast, about two weeks. Yeah. And so, we've had some expectations, because uh, I, I believe that the last time we recorded the podcast was before, uh, like, the PlayStation Experience and all the other stuff, and, yeah, and the yeah. Game Awards. Yeah. So, we've got, uh, so let me pull up the list, but we've had some interesting revelations since then, not everything according to the list, and uh, I guess while I'm looking for it, uh, what are your guys' thoughts on what's been happening so far? So far, up until about a couple of days ago, this guy has seemed like he knows some things, but then he doesn't know things. Like, for example, Soul Calibur 6. He did it, but it's not on the Switch. So, what's up with that? <laughs> and then there's also, what, what was another recent one that was just came out recently? Uh, Street Fighters are a list. He got Cody, he got the God, he got Skura, but then he talked about the Final Fight characters and they weren't there. So that's an old, another thing in itself. <laughs> so as far as like what well, I was basically saying the last time we visited the list, some of this stuff I believe, some of it I don't believe, and that's kind of holding true for the most part up until two days ago. And if you know what that two days ago was, it was Dragon Ball Fighters. With their recent release of Beerus Hit, and somebody on his list that was supposed to be DLC, but it's not, Goku Black. Right. Um, it's because it's in here, it was that Beerus and Hit are launch roster characters, and that Goku Black was going to be one of the DLC characters. Now, he got those characters right, but he got the format wrong. Hmm. Well, he, he got the format somewhat wrong, because we got to give him credit for the fact that Beerus and Hit are on launch. Hmm. But did he, was he the one who said that? Because I don't see that on here. Um, yeah, I pulled up the list, and it says here that it was Goku Black in his rose form, no, clarif no clarification if launch or Oh, yeah, I see it now. Uh, never mind, I see it now. It was, like, very small on my uh, list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that Beerus and Hit were launch roster characters. Mm hmm 
Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, I mean, let's be honest here. We can really chuck this up to be like, he's lucky a lot of the time. <laughs> like, I think whatever his source is, it's somewhat reliable. Like 70%, uh, like low 70s. Hmm. Because, like, he uh, he is making some of the calls that, like, people are really interested in. That the, the people that are hoping uh, are, are true. Like, uh, a lot of the, like, he, uh, one of the biggest things I saw, like, on Event Hubs earlier today was based off of the six uh, DLC characters that are coming to Street Fighter, uh, who, do you, who do you really want to see? And, like, Cody was number one on that list. And hmm. so, like, clearly, I Cody's, like, a secret character that people were, like, going insane over that, like, I thought for sure it was uh, Saga, uh, Sagat and Sakura that were, like, really going to be the the ones to get, like, most people's attention. Hmm. So, uh, so he's definitely making some of the, uh, he got, he's got some of those calls right, but then he's also got, like, some other details that kind of, that kind of bug me, honestly, because, for example, right here, uh, it says here that Soul Calibur 6 was gonna be for PS4, PC, and the Switch, and that there was gonna be no mention of an Xbox version. And in reality, it was kind of switched in that it's the PC and, P yeah. uh, and PS4 and no uh, and no Switch version, and it's on Xbox. And mm. if those kind of details kind of uh, they kind of bug me, and they prevent me from truly accepting the list. Mm hmm. Yeah, and it's a lot of that that's been happening and. To be honest, we still need to know more about the Street Fighter one because we've only got the top part of the list right now. There's a huge chunk of the bottom that hasn't been revealed yet to us so far. Oh yeah, because let me see. Because uh, uh, they, they even announced a new mode that was never leaked at all uh, mm -hmm. earlier. And so, and it's like, it's not on this leak, leak list, it's not on the other, any of the x -Kira stuff, at least not to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then so it's, it's kind of like it's also what's not there that also throws some some suspicion into this leak list because it's just like if this guy really did have the connections he's claiming to have then we, he would have mentioned something like that hmm yeah so we'll see um the one that i'm really really interested in if he gets anything right on it is um Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, so yeah. That one's in kind of an interesting state. But I'm <laughs> really interested in where that one goes. Because right now, the way I see it, it's kind of like launch Street Fighter V. Where it's just like, it's barely keeping up. It's barely staying alive because of the community. But, uh... The, the next move, the next big move that they make for Infinite can make or break the game. Hmm. Because like because of the announcements of of uh, Cody, Sagat, and Sakura, for because of the new modes, uh, because of like all the big updates, uh, uh, the the second beat triggers, all of that stuff, people are like getting really interested and really hyped for arcade edition. Hmm. I think because uh, uh, I think it's kind of the same thing that happened with like Vanilla Street Fighter Four, isn't it? Not exactly. Vanilla Street Fighter Four was considered to be the resurgence of fighting games for the most part because there wasn't really anything else out there except for like what second six i think at the time uh and that one had really bad tech code so i mean other than that i mean namco was holding it down for the longest time and then street fighter came out and everybody went that shit crazy so um well i guess kind of like what the, the reason i make the comparison to street fighter 4 is more along the lines of um it's a game that like the base wasn't that great that then when the update happened then people like went apeshit and really started enjoying the crap out of the series again no i wouldn't say that for street fighter 4 because people were still enjoying it at 4 vanilla it just got better from there uh it's like it was just getting better and better as each edition was going along until it got to you know the ridiculous ones of arcade edition blah 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 stuff like that okay um but i mean we'll see because like Street Fighter V ba barely pulled it out of the fire. Uh, Marvel Infinite, it's got the same opportunity, and I will say that it's just like I do enjoy the games, 
but this is something I cannot keep uh, like tolerating from Capcom, where it's like I can't I can't keep saying you know fucking like the game is gonna be all right because it's down the line, like it should come out at least decent on launch. Mm. Uh, and the updates are supposed to be something where it's just like okay now you can keep improving with a good base, not fucking you got a shitty base and now we'll just keep fixing the problems as they come as they appear. That's just bad game design overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, we'll see, because if freaking Capcom can make it so that uh, Arcade Edition actually gets, uh, is bringing people back in, mm. uh, maybe they might be, might be able to pull out a second miracle out of their ass. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, mm. I will say, like, going back to the list, though, the one thing that makes me, like, completely kind of distrust this now, other than the Goku Black thing, is the fact of Devil May Cry 5 not being announced on PSX. Right. That one's like, uh, that's not even just like a section that's not true. That thing is just completely not true. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, a lot of the stuff that we've, we've been mentioning could be considered like, okay, well, here's like a big, uh, like a whole section, but with section with uh, subsections missing. This one's like, this one could be considered an entire section is missing. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I got. Anything else? Eddie, do you have anything? What about this? About all these leaks and shit that are coming out. Mm -hmm. Uh, the only thing, the only thing I could probably say about this is that the person that's doing these leaks, they he says that he's somebody on the inside, but I'm thinking he's somebody that just knows somebody that's on the inside. Which is probably the case. Yeah. Because if he was on the inside, if they were, if they were truly on the inside, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be fucking up like this not like this mm -hmm. like not with like not with well goku black's gonna be in the game but he's gonna be dlc then bandai namco just slaps it on there it's just like nah here he is like right here chilling and shit well in fairness this list is kind of old and so they could have made um they could have made some changes uh since the time of the, the not that kind of change not that kind of change that would take way too long but for, like from the time this list came out to when they announced it that would have been way too long mm. that it like that and they typically don't they took for fighting games really fighting games the the economy on dlc for fighting games oh wait this is capcom no i well you no, were no, talking no, about dragon ball fighters yeah dragon ball fighters Oh shit, Dragon Ball Fighters. I thought I thought about Capcom there for a second. I mean, even with Bandai Namco and their DLC thing, their DLC is always just like, fuck. Oh shit, we can't put them in the game. All right, let's do it. Hmm. It's never it's never like an actual lock behind a paywall thing that they've ever done. It's always it was always an actual add on, you know. Up until like the guest characters. Up until, like, the guest characters, yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, we'll see, because if, we if we're keeping, like, track of this list, I'd say... How much would you... Uh, I'd say probably, like, around 60% or so of this leak list is accurate. Maybe a little bit less. I would say about 55. Like, Something like that sounds yeah. better. Because... We still haven't seen anything of, like, uh, the Nintendo stuff either. We haven't seen any of the Pokemon. We haven't seen any of the Metroid. We haven't seen any of the Animal Crossing. Uh, and God knows what, whatever the hell else is supposed to be, like, making an appearance in this so-called list. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, since the beginning, I've been saying, you know, like, if any of this can actually be confirmed to be true, I'm all for it. These are all positive. Hmm. Like, a lot of this minus, like, a, two things in Dragon Ball Fighters, I'd be totally fine with. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Just, yeah. The, the only thing I'm hopeful for is Yoshimitsu being in uh, Soul Calibur 6. Oh, that should be guaranteed. That like, he's been in pretty much every Soul Calibur game. He's minus like, Soul Blade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, it, like I was going to say, I think he would, probably wasn't in the first one, but ever since 2 onwards. Well, no, like, he was in the original Soul Calibur. Like, he wasn't in Soul Blade. <laughs> like, I, thought the Soul first Blade was, the I thought the first one was called uh, Soul Edge. Or, no, yeah. Was it Soul Blade or Soul Edge? Because I know Soul Edge is a sword. Soul Edge is a sword. Soul Blade was the game. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, like, 
a Soul Calibur upward, that was Yoshimitsu and everything. But Soul Blade, no, he wasn't on there. They were all original characters in that game. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. I mean, ho hopefully they, hopefully Bandai can, uh, I'm going back to Bandai, sorry. Hopefully, yeah, I mean, I mean, the only thing that I hope for is that they don't pull like a Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and have 14 different versions of Goku. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I really, that's, that's what I don't want. I don't, I don't want that. Like, I want Goku. Okay, how about the, okay, I think we talked about this in the first one. It's like, okay, Super Saiyan Blue, cool, that's different, that can be its own thing, but like... But like Super Saiyan 3, 2, 1, Kaioken times 20, 15, 10, 5, you know what I mean? Like, well, just, cause like, just, well, cause, cause the way that the, the games are, I like, I, I understand what you mean, because it's just like, yeah, we don't want like fucking the base form Goku, regular ass Goku, where he's Super Saiyan and fucking Saiyan Blue and all that shit, like, I get that. Uh, although I will say that it's like, the Tenkaichi games were kind of like, I think they, they were different, and the way that they were done. They could allow for those multiple characters, but in for Dragon Ball Fighter Z, you are gonna want no like very few repeats. No, mm. true that you got a point there. At least the behavior, the behavior of the fourteen different Goku clones were due to his personality and things he, the shit he's seen, the shit he's done, all th going throughout the story, just how fucked yeah. up he could be towards the end. Because like in Tenkaichi three, it was uh, a lot of his moves were a lot of every, everyone had like the same basic sort of moves. So they had like uh, two moves where like it was a special like a uh, boost uh, or like uh, a debuff to the enemies, and they had like uh, three uh, specials that they could pull out. Uh, everyone had like the same formula, so that's why it's just like okay, you know, we can keep pu pulling out the different forms of Goku because he's got like a bunch of different techniques. But yeah. in this one. You could like it is more like you're not limited to the same to a lot of the same stuff. Good point. Good fucking point. And why would Dragon Ball Fighter Z be on the Switch to begin with? I mean, it's not like it couldn't be on the Switch to be honest. No, but Pretty I'm much. I'm questioning its practicality. Like, what what benefit would Dragon Ball Fighter Z have being on the Switch? I mean, boosting sales. <laughs> That's just more sales for it. Okay. Plus, in a way, you'd you'd have a tech. Uh, technically, you'd have a portable version. Yeah, but yeah, okay. I see what you mean. I just don't. It's just like it's like. I mean, I can play Dragon Ball Fighter Z on the go. Like that's not a game that you want to play on the go, unless you're like a tournament player or something like that. And even then, even then, they could just have the portable console with the DVD attached to it. Well, the only thing I'll say about that is this, is that if there is a Switch version, because they've already addressed this on their Twitters and all the stuff and whatnot, if there was a Switch version, it was because that enough people asked them to make a Switch version to yeah. say, we can get money off of this. I am... That was the whole thing in their entire thing. Like, if a lot of people want this, we'll do it. But right now, we have no plans. That's, like that's kind of like that's kind of like how Final Fantasy XV's DLC was even done, hmm. or at least at least the uh, the comrades version, because hmm. they didn't have no plans for that. They were just gonna keep like hashing out the story and everything like that. Just like hey, let us play with our friends. Oh hmm. shit! Okay, I'm just gonna write this down and then pretend it was there the entire time. <laughs> 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 Soul Calibur 6 I uh this will be the first time that I've actually been excited for Soul Calibur cause I actually want to try Soul Calibur cause it because logistically well me logistically for myself I by all rights should be a Soul Calibur player because of Yoshimitsu? no because because I like I mean, I'm a fan of katanas and shit like that. Like, I was always a fan of weapons. I was always a fan of, like, using weapons in combat and stuff like that. So it's just, like, by all, like, by, in every every respectable aspect, I should be a Soul Calibur player. But Tekken is, I mean, I play Tekken. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, um, that's, 
you don't necessarily have to be because by that logic, um, I should be a fan of like uh, a sh like a shit ton of Dragon Ball, uh, a bunch of the Dragon Ball fighting games. And I lost interest after Tenkai G three because I thought most of them were garbage. Good point. But also back then, back then I also didn't have the mental fortitude that I have right now to actually get into playing a fighting game like this anyway. I didn't even have the I didn't have the mental fortitude to even play Tekken until Tag Two was already dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like at this point, at this point where I stand now, it's like getting into a fighting game. The only one that I would really want to get into besides Tekken would be Soul Calibur. I mean, there's the anime ones, but we're not talking about those right now. Mm -hmm. Those are like they're. I almost want to say that those are their own beats. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, those are their own beasts. Like, I'm talking, like, strictly 3D. Like, Soul Calibur and Tekken would be the ones for me. But now, but now that I have a proper understanding, now that I know how to use my brain, put it that way. Now that I know how to use my brain, I want to see, I want to see just how good I can be in Soul Calibur. In Soul Calibur 6 would be the perfect segue into testing that, testing that theory. Really? We're doing Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, don't we? I mean, hell, man, we had a Pokemon section. I mean, <laughs> you guys got the songs. I got the porn, so we can make this happen. That's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I oh. have to agree. Let's not do that. But uh, another thing, another thing though that uh, that I think is important about uh, Soul Calibur Six being like your entry point is that because it's gonna be a new Soul Calibur game, uh, it's gonna be like it's its own different beast and therefore you can actually like have the same starting point as like a lot of other people even like some of the veterans uh they're gonna be uh, picking up the game and chances are it's not gonna be the same game that they were like it's gonna be like fundamentally the same but there's gonna be like some new mechanics that are gonna throw them off and stuff they're gonna like everyone basically starts at the point zero which should be the thing when it comes to a new game like people should want to learn the new game they should not be like, oh, I know all this shit, so I'll just be a pro right off the bat. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Because I almost, saw, I almost remember seeing some of those kinds of comments when like Street Fighter Five came out. It's just like, oh, well, this is, gonna, this is nothing like Street Fighter Four. And I'm just thinking to myself, of course not. This is a new game. This is, a, it's like fucking saying, oh, Street Fighter Four is not like Street Fighter Three. Therefore, I am pissed off. Mm -hmm. That's because people. That's because just those type of people don't like change anyway. Yeah. yeah. And those type of people. Well, actually, I was one of those types of people. But even but even then, it's like it's kind of like when you're playing football as a kid for like little league, but then you get to high school, and then the whole the whole formula is different. It's just like, well, this wasn't like it was in little league. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> this ain't little league. <laughs> Time to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> get some concussions. Yeah, get yeah, like come on now, like it's time to get hit. What do you mean? Yeah, no, nah. it's about to get <laughs> real now. Hey, right. was there anything else you wanted to do for the elite quest? Um, I mean, I'm hoping we get to see some Devil May Cry Five footage soon. I hope that one's like actually true. Like, only thing it, like, like it's true that it happened <laughs> overall, not that it's just like, oh, okay, you know, it's it's just because it's not a PSX, it's like fucking. I just, I just want there to be a Devil May Cry 5. No, I was just going to say, like, the only thing about that is you probably won't hear anything about that until hey, Brandon. E3. That's fine, because, like, I, I'm, I'm like a lot of people where it's just, like, I'd rather wait until they get something solid than they, like, fucking do a rush job. Hmm. You want people to actually take their goddamn time with their video games. Yeah, so many hey. fucking companies are just fucking, like, Okay, we've got like a uh, so we've got something we can like fix easily on launch day. And it's just like, well, can't you just like take time and finish it properly? Because we're willing to wait. Because we just we just want to have fun with the game. But we're, but you, yeah. we're willing to wait for a solid game. <laughs> All right. So that's all I had for that one. Pretty much, like I can release the 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 least. Uh, the list is like about 50-50, so we'll see what happens down the line. At this point, it's just flipping a, a, a coin to get what kind of content we're going to get. Hmm. Alright. Hero predictions. Let's do it. JDCR is going to win Tekken. 
Well, that's probably a guarantee, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> no, I was going to talk about like what are the games that are most likely going to be at this Evo this year so, or next year. Soul Calibur yeah. Six is going to be at Evo. When is it coming out anyway? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but it's gonna be at Evo. <laughs> well, didn't they do that for Tekken though? Mm -hmm. They did when it was in arcades. Soul Calibur is not in arcades. It's not anywhere. They're gonna make. Exactly. They're gonna. They're gonna add a couple of characters. They're gonna make a test version. And if it's just good enough to play, they're gonna have it at Evo. You want to know oh, why? Sure. You want to know why? Because there's going to be hella amounts of money put into it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite will not be at Evo. There is a great chance that might be true, actually. <laughs> I almost want, uh, like, I want to say that it's like it depends on what what else is going to be in uh, at Evo. Well, the reason I say that is because even Mr. Wizard was like, is this game dead? <laughs> and people really didn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like. I think he did that because he's done that before with uh, KOF 14. And people were like going batshit crazy about that game saying you should be at Evo. And that's how it got it into Evo uh, this year. Hmm. So the fact that no one's really saying much this year for Marvel vs. Capcom is... <laughs> yeah, because <Questionable. laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of curious of like as to what they're gonna have for like the, the launch lineup, because it might be like okay, we we don't have that many games this time around or something. You never know. Oh, they're gonna have tons of games. Like for one thing, Dragon Ball Fighter is gonna be there. Let's be honest, it's gonna be there. <laughs> it's too it's, it's too hyped to not be there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when is Evo? Back in is like when is it? They push it back. I think it's in August next year. I August. Think they push it back. I was because I was one. I was gonna wonder. It's like depending on the depending on when it is. There's gonna be Geese Howard that's there. There's gonna be Prince Noctis. Oh yeah, Noctis will probably be playable by then. Noctis. What? Noctis comes out what? Early eight, early twenty eighteen. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, it was worth it. I really couldn't resist, but um, <laughs> Noctis should probably be playable. I'm actually in the Noctis Discord server. I'm a fan of the kid. I like the kid. Yeah. People are making speculations on like if like will he have a meter when he gets put into the game. Will he not have a meter when he gets put into the game? What would his meter be for, though? I honestly think it'd be his armature. Yeah. But it's, but <laughs> but someone debunked that by saying, uh, well, it couldn't be the armature because he uses it in his rage art, and it's probably his rage drive. I was like, yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> hmm. Well, probably, maybe magic? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Look, Magic question mark? <laughs> so long as the fucker doesn't get the ring of Lucy eye, we're, we're all right. Uh, no, I would say fuck that if he has that. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Maybe I don't know. Maybe an RPG. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, I couldn't, I wouldn't, oh god, what, whoa, what is this? What's, I heard sounds. I'm scared. Oh, Lee hosted me. All right, sweet. Oh. <laughs> What's up, bro? It, like I just heard, like I heard just like this musical tune, and I'm just like, what the hell is that? I'm not used to this. <laughs> That's actually pretty wild. Just like come and check our podcast. Be like, man, this looks lit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just, just like I like the cut of this guy's jib. All right, I'm in it for the long haul, boys. <laughs> so, uh. So Noctis will probably be ready uh, there. So, like, that's two games right there. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Fighters and Tekken 7. Street Fighter is going to be there. Especially after all this shit. <laughs> There's, like, no way it's not. <laughs> especially. Um, espe oh, hey, Alicia. What's up? Yeah, because it's usually, like, nine games or so, isn't it? Mm, yeah. At least it was this year. So, uh, so that's three. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's Injustice see. Two, probably. Injustice 2, definitely. Skullgirls for the fuck of it. 
you know. And and that, and that's not and that's not that far off base either, and that's the fuck part. Yeah, so there's been a recent resurgence with that game, so I don't know. There, there's a mm, I won't throw that out, but I'm not gonna say yes, yes. Sometimes they do like have a vote for what should be the next game at Evo, so we could probably throw that one into the voting bin. Oh sweet, I I appreciate you coming by, Alicia. You uh, you being in your stream was like. It's like fucking insane, cause I came in there to lurk. And I got a free sub, and I'm just like, God damn it, now I'm dedicated. <laughs> like, and like it all just happened so fast. Let's see, let's see, that's four. Uh, Blaze. It's the most cross. most baller shit ever. Probably. Uh, will Ex fighting whatever the fuck will will happen then? God, I hope oh, not. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be out by then. Now it being on the list is kind of mm, because I don't I, mean, I don't think so because it's far too new. Well, even then, because even uh, what uh, another game that came out that was far too new was on uh on it I think last year. I can't remember what it was. But there was one that was like it wasn't even out yet. Oh yeah, Tekken Seven. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, you trapped the shit out of me. It's all good. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> We can yeah. probably be writing these down, like, on the chat or something. Probably. It'd be nice. I'll have to knock you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. You're like, hell, man, you came more prepared. <laughs> you came more prepared than I did. <laughs> You're like, it like that. You're still one step ahead of me. <laughs> um, do you think they'll still have, like, two Smash Brothers? Uh, oh shit! I, I forgot know. about Smash. I know there'll be one. There will be one. Yeah, I'm gonna put Smash Four. Yeah. Although they might vote the other one in if they do the vote, but uh, um, I doubt it. <laughs> Three Smash Brothers. Fuck off, Leo. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be fucking terrible. Three Smash games. Damn. <laughs> I mean, which ones? Because all the only ones that are left are OG and Brawl, and fucking oh, people don't really care no for Brawl. those. Oh, you are out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> One of those be Mario Party. You know what? Evo's getting so big, I would not be surprised if that was the voted winning. <laughs> <laughs> We're having this big convention, and we've also got a fighting game tournament. <laughs> Alright, what uh, else? Um... Yeah, I thought I'm there. Uh, so we got five. Um, Injustice 2. Injustice 2. So that's six. 007 Goldeneye. Oh, yeah, we gotta add that. <laughs> 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 nah, fuck, you know what? No, nah, I'll take that back. We couldn't, we could not have, we couldn't have Goldeneye at Evo, man. People would be stealing off and shit. <laughs> people would be getting, le like, people be legit beefing over that. We can't, we can't have that. As fun as that would be. As fun. Uh, it, 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 it managed to fit in nine, so I, I don't think that that would be a problem. What came out last year? Uh, the last year, really. <laughs> what came out this year? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. Because I, I think we should get at least like uh, eight before we before we say that Marvel doesn't have a chance. We get to What's eight. That? Hmm. Yeah, because like there's, it was, uh, there was nine games. Would there, would, would Blaze Blue and Ultimax be in there? The Guilty Gear. Well, Guilty uh, Gear. Revelator Two, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I was about to say I knew there was something I was missing. Cause I I put in Blaze Blue, but I meant I, the way I meant it was basically meant to be uh Blaze Blue uh, tag cross fucking battle whatever shit. And last probably be King of Fighters, since it sold it. Biggest thing yet this year. Hmm, we'll see. What money do we have? Oh, can't go this way. Yeah. That so, seems like uh, it'd be a solid choice. Fighters, uh, maybe uh, fighting layer. That would be nine then. <laughs> okay, if we're going to the uh, the the blah 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 blah. <laughs> well, because I, I think that the fighting layer and King of Fighters would probably be one of the the choices for uh, voting. That and Skullgirls. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If it's fighting Leia versus Marvel. Fighting Leia might be bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And it, and it sucks because I saw fighting Leia. It does not. It does not look interesting to me at all. Well, it's, like, it's, it's different. It's, it's, it's different as different. it's different as fuck. I saw that much. Actually, yeah, I was gonna ask you, Jess, like, uh, cause I think you, didn't you try out the demo? I never got yeah, a I played it. He uploaded a video of it. Yeah. I had a lot of fun with that game. I will say this: playing it versus watching it. Well, playing it is great, but watching it at a high level—that's when shit gets absolutely nuts. It's like Marvel nuts from that <laughs> game. <laughs> Like, I've seen some absolute crazy shit with that game, but like, playing it at the level I was playing, it looked boring as fuck. <laughs> it looks like a very bad Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, at a high level, like, you watch that, that shit gets nuts. <laughs> okay, so basically, up to Revelator 2, that's when it, that's, that's, those are the ones where we can make it the console and first. Mm -hmm. then, the four that follow, those would have to be voted in. Mm -hmm. um, Oops, I didn't mind even going to transference. But fuck it! Between those four, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say that Marvel doesn't have like a very high chance. Yeah, like they gotta bring some real heat. Like, yeah. like tomorrow. <laughs> like, they, like some of that, some of that leak list shit has to be fucking true if they want to fucking stand chance. Mm -hmm. Because I think by the time, they, like, if they, like, I think if they made a big announcement during EVO, then that'd probably be too late. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be way too late. That'd be like, it's already done. Big enough. And, and I say this, keep in mind that it's like, I want the game to succeed. I want the game to at least still be able to hold up. Oh yeah, at the core, the game's fun. It just has a really rough patch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it started off, it started off horrendously unpopular. That didn't help it at all. Yeah. It I is mean, like, though, I don't, like people do tend to have like a big hate on for Capcom too, so it's just like that doesn't help either. The rage, yeah, but this is like uh, this, yeah, that's true. I'm, the rage bomb is not real. always justified. I'm just saying that like fucking people blow up at Capcom a, a lot easier than a lot of other companies. True that. That is that is absolutely true. I just was. I think the point, I think it's, because, like, the difference between Infinite and, like, many of the other games was that when, like, say, when Tekken was in its beta phase, it was like, okay, everybody's just like, wow, this game, uh, it's like, it looks nice, it still needs to be polished. They said the same thing about Street Fighter. They said the same thing about Guilty Gear. But it's like when Mo uh, Marvel vs. Capcom came came out and it was just showing off the characters and everybody was just like, what the fuck is this? Hmm. <laughs> like this shit, they, they were just like, yo, this shit sucks even by ca uh, Capcom standards. And you know what's the really sad thing is that a lot of the bad shit happened at E3. Like... If it wasn't for that, I don't think it would have gotten so bad. Like, it still would have been bad, but not so bad. But there are people I can literally talk to right now who still don't know that Chun Li's face has been fixed. Like, they still think that shit is fucked up. Oh, right. Yeah. Now nah, we should be able, we should celebrate her getting over her heroin addiction, though. Oh, I got it. That's fucking sick. But, um,. So, I mean, as of this moment, we have, like, four contenders for the ninth spot. Mm. And, I mean, here's hoping that fucking, like, that leak list, some of that leak list is true and Capcom can actually fucking save the game. Yeah, the, a... biggest thing, the biggest thing I want for the game, the biggest reason I want it to at least end up being, like, breaking even or something, is because, like, since this is Disney we're talking about and they're super protective over their IPs, like one failure can can mean that like they're gonna lose a license and who knows if we'll ever see a Marvel game ever anytime soon. Mm. Like that's the biggest thing I want to avoid. Or ever again. Like, mm. Yeah, exactly. Because I want I like the the situation I hope for is at at least you know okay you guys fucked up but we'll give you we'll let you keep the license and you know give it another shot some other time. You know like then I'd be fine with that. Well, mm. but it's like since this like this is one of. Marvel, since Marvel became Disney's biggest moneymaker, it's gonna be more of like fucking 
like Star Wars, I guess, where it's just like, you guys fucked up, they're taking this away from you. Hmm. Oh. And just to throw that out there to anyone listening, because I know people are saying, well, the X-Men are going to save it, and everything like that, because Disney just bought Fox, right? Allow me to tell you why that's not going to happen next year. <laughs> that deal still has to go 18 months through Congress before it's actually solidified. So we're not going to see any of that next year. <laughs> see any of what? Of X Men going into Marvel and all that other stuff, Fantastic yeah. Four. Oh, yeah. The league list has like Fantastic Four characters. They brought back Doctor Doom. They brought in a bunch of the X Men. Right. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. And not only that, but now there's there's been talk that Congress is actually really investigating that shit too. It might even not even let it happen. So there's that too. <laughs> so anybody's like, oh, it's totally gonna be safe next year. You might want to hold on on that, but uh, if you're thinking about that. <laughs> Well, um, let me ask you this though, because I know that like, uh, like studios like Fox and stuff, they've got like the the movie rights, but do they own also own the character rights? Yes, they own X Men. <laughs> okay. Well, damn. <laughs> so you know, to help that helps clear up some other stuff too, where it's just kind of like, oh, well, maybe that's the loophole. Nope, that door's closed too. Yep, nope, that, that's closed. They closed it real good there. <laughs> <laughs> they locked, they closed the door, they locked it, they threw away the key, then melted the lock onto the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest, they tried to do it better with uh, Fantastic Four by basically splitting the rights between them and Constantine Films. So it even got worse there. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't bring up Fan Four Stick. Hey, I'm just happy that they might go to Marvel, so... <laughs> yeah. That's like the one time where we're actually looking, willing to look the other way. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty much it for evil predictions. Like, the, uh, we got eight confirmed, and we have, like, the four for the voting. Uh, there might end up being some other ones, too, where it's just like, you haven't seen this game in ages, but we're giving you a chance to see it at evil. So that might actually also happen. Um, I will make a crackpot prediction right now. Gonna be super crackpot, probably never gonna happen ever. He's too crazy. <laughs> going nuts, guys. But I'm gonna say that right. they're gonna be at a bigger venue this year, slightly, slightly like bigger terminal. venue, and they're gonna have a tenth game. Oh shit! <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm <laughs> calling it right now. If it happens, you heard it here first. You're, you're throwing out a theory. <laughs> Don't say I'm calling it, because that's more more sounds like you're locking it in. This is more like I'm throwing out a theory. You've got a game nice. theory. <laughs> no, I'm calling this shit. You can call me crazy, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Stop this crazy man. <laughs> Look, I, I got a feeling. I have a feeling. That it's going to be a good happen. night? A game feeling. <laughs> <laughs> that it's going to be a very good night. <laughs> they came here, can't see us now. Location reached. Uh, I mean, we've we got, we, we got at least, um, we've got at least the, the, the eight solidified games, so I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a transition, and we know one of those uh, games won't be dead or alive. Mm, yes. Ooh, we. Mr. Uh, Poopy Buttholes here. How does that? How does? How does that make you feel? Oh gosh. Okay. So let me let's just get this one out of the way real quick. Because <laughs> this this made a lot of people not only salty but like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm I'm surprised I got the reaction it did. Well, see, it's so funny because like. You see, you see on their Twitter account thing or whatever, where you saw it, that they didn't have an announcement at NEC. And it's like, okay, cool. What is it going to be? Are we going to get Dead or Alive 6? Is there another character coming to Dead or Alive 5? What's going to happen? And then you get to that point, and it's like, we're working on something. Dead or Alive 5 is dead. Bye. <laughs> I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> You could have tweeted that out or something. You didn't have to tell people to come to this spot to listen to that. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess they felt like it, it, it uh, it's like a big project that they've been working on long enough so that they feel like they needed to give it some form of goodbye. 
Which is fine. That's all fine. You could do like a fucking YouTube video on that. Literally. You don't tell people to come to an Oops. event and to let them hear about an announcement of you working on something. <laughs> and then, not only that, but make it ten times more depressing because the guy who does the, the tournament for NEC won't be able to do it anymore for Dello Live 5. So now that scene's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. I was disappointed too when I saw that they basically announced that they killed it. There's fucking uh, there's a bunch of like 3D fighters out there, like fucking um, cause it like Jazz knows this. I don't think Eddie knows this, but like a lot of a lot of a lot of people I talked to know this. It's like I'm just I'm just not an, an, uh, a fan of Tekken, and uh, I'm not I'm not a fan of Soul Calibur either. And it's just like I thought. Okay, well, I'm never gonna get out of a 3D game that I actually like. It comes dead or alive when I thought it was just gonna be like fan service, the fighting game. Uh, and I like I actually tried a demo. I was like, holy shit, this is actually pretty fucking good. I've been playing fucking dead or alive five since vanilla. Hmm. And yeah, man, I like uh, cause I also fucking told Jazz that it's just like I feel like the the end of the run is coming up. So I hope that they at least release like a complete. Fucking like all the DLC shit edition. Dude, dude, um, Dead or Alive. There's something about Dead or Alive that is it. Is it? What is it about it? Cause is it popular? Is it just that damn? Good? Well, I've played Dead or Alive. I'm not. I'm ass at it. Mm. I'm absolute ass at it. Mm. But it's just something. It just. It's just. It makes me question. Cause like Virtual Fighter pretty much is pretty much dead at this point. Or, yeah. <laughs> or, or rather, you know, Virtual Fighter is dead. You know, Tekken has had numerous games. Street Fighter has had numerous, uh, numerous games. All these other games have had these massive runs. Then there's Dead or Alive Five that was on the PS3. It's now on the PS4. It's going strong. What is this game doing? I mean, for one thing, I think it's the new characters. Uh... It was, it was all the support, really, because it's just like, you got the costumes, you got the, the new characters. Uh, I'm sure people were losing their shit when they fucking announced that Mai was going to be in it. Oh yeah, people were going nuts. There's like, a guest character uh, that's not from Virtual Fighter and is from the 2D game? Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> and, and I got uh, and I got Mai. Uh, I tried her out. She's actually pretty faithful. Mm. And also they had like some other cross promotions like what they had because uh, since they have stage interaction uh, They also had this wow well, uh, attack on Titan level too. Mm -hmm. I knew they what had a I knew I knew they had an attack on Titan DLC with costumes I didn't know there was an actual stage put on with oh, it. Oh, yeah, like yeah an actual interactive stage where like you it, can knock someone into the Titan <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a uh, you're fighting on top of one of the walls and you and like in the background you see the colossal Titan like just staring at you that's pretty cool. Mm. But then but then when you tell me shit like that, no wonder it survived. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah, they were pulling out a lot of decent moves. Uh, also, mm. one of the characters that they brought in for when they uh, when they made last round, because Jazz, but, uh, but I think out of the three of us, he's the one that's like more dead or alive literate. But like, uh, they brought back uh, a character from like one of the early ones that they had killed off. Oh, Rido? Yeah. Yeah, that was lit. That was like, oh, I did not expect to see you again. It's just kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they also like were doing moves that were like uh, fan yeah. servicey outside of the porny stuff. And also, um, you wouldn't know this one, Eddie. Uh, I think her name is Natora Lee from a uh, uh, Samurai uh, Warriors. I knew she. Uh, that's right. She totally was in the game, and that, but that I didn't. That went. That went over my head. Because at the time, I wasn't a fan of Samurai Warriors. I didn't know who she was. I didn't know how prevalent she was. Mm -hmm. I, hadn't, I hadn't, like, seen that hot ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> but but even then, it's just like, yeah, like, she's in it. She was in it, too. And I'm like, whoa. You know? There was Kazumi, mm -hmm. and then uh, Hayate, and then uh, Ryu Hayabusa. Which is weird because that's one of Lee's favorite characters. I'm surprised it never hey, gave that a shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I was one of my favorites because like I am like a fan of like Ninja Gaiden since the nest day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they added like in the beginning they added virtual fighter characters. That was unheard of. <laughs> like, wow, we actually have a crossover like this. <laughs> Plus, it was more of like we're keeping the series more more alive than Sega is. <laughs> they really were at the time. 
Like seriously, it's like past their twentieth anniversary. Damn, Sega. <laughs> I, I say, I say, it's kind of like, uh, friggin' uh, Team Ninja was friggin' giving him the shot to to resurrect the game, but they fucking didn't take it. Yeah, that really would have been the time. And I mean, shit, man. I imagine a lot of people would have been losing their minds if it was like, okay, uh, dead or alive, we're putting in some virtual fighter characters. And then, like, they could take the shot, they put in, they make a new Virtual Fighter with Dead or Alive characters. Yeah, that would have been the shot it needed to boost Virtual Fighter up to ridiculous heights. That's all you need. You already and, have the thing there. And imagine yeah. how strong, like, the bases would have been getting if they were actually, like, uh, like melding, you know? It's just like, okay, I, there's these Dead or Alive characters in Virtual Fighter, I'll try them out here, see if I like the game. They could have gotten more fans. Hmm. But no. <laughs> Sega was too off of making Colonial Marines a uh, suck ass game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your box. They were more busy fucking just making bad Sonic games. After they had uh, the fucking they had, formula. They had a prominent role in that. Don't be fooled. Sega had a good prominent role in that too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just like uh, unaware of how, how deep their fingers were in that situation. Oh, uh, yeah, it was quite deep. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean. Like, here's hoping we, uh, it's not too long of a wait for a Dead or Alive fix, because uh, I, I, I really want to see the game. I, I really want to see the game come back. Like, they really need something, because that was kind of... I'm not... I'm not going to say it was, like, completely bad, but that was really shitty and really sad. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, that's what it was like, oh, yeah, we have an announcement. We are working on something. Like, yeah, we, we know you were working on something. Oh, yeah, by the way, Dio, Dead or Alive 5 said, bye! <laughs> <laughs> they get on their witch's broom and fly away. <laughs> they really just go, and I was like, okay. okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, you heard that sad news? Here's some more. Dead or Alive 5 is basically dead in this place, too. Bye! <laughs> well, again, here, here's hoping that, like, 6 comes out soon, because I'm a, I'm a fan, honestly. Like, uh, like, because I had remember hearing about, like, some of the Dead or Alive games before, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, aren't those, like, the super fan service games? I actually tried out a demo, I got home. Hmm. Yeah, so, that's all I had for that one. This, yeah, this is what right. I do. It's <laughs> hoping 6 isn't, like, it's only, like, two years away or something like that. Hmm. Uh, so, next on the list is, uh, are we excited for anything in 2018? Oh yeah, well, I'm excited for all the shit in 2018. I mean, movies, games, it's gonna be lit. There's gonna be a lot of stuff, <laughs> yeah. Cause, like, one of the biggest ones that, like, comes to my mind right now is, uh, Infinity War is gonna be out then. Hmm. The first movie to possibly end the, uh, the phase. The phase three, I guess this is? Whatever, I don't know. I think but, we're uh, currently on phase three, yes. Yeah. And that should be very lit, but I'm more excited for Black Panther because it'll be a day, a holiday, for all my brothers and sisters. <laughs> no, I'm Mexican, so I got no, no, I got no dog in this fight. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. You stay out of this. Hell to the fuck, yeah. This is our day. <laughs> Boosie, you just keep your mouth shut, you're not black enough for this. <laughs> You, you are an ordinary black man right now. <laughs> <'Cause that day>. <laughs> <laughs> you have played at the table. <laughs> so, like, like, like Moosey's not dark. I mean, he's dark enough. Get in here. <laughs> I'm just Mexican. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> so, no, I'm excited. I'm more excited. Well, I'm excited for both, but I'm more excited for Black Panther than Infinity War. No, I mean, if it's yeah. anything like, Luke, like if it's any uh, thing in quality like Luke Cage was, I'm gonna be excited. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course, if they break if they break into Wu Tang Clan, I might be a little bit like what the fuck. They get a little pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> like really? <dude? laughs> and yeah. then um, I mean, so it's like uh. I'm like, of course I'm always excited for like whatever superhero movies are going to be out in the way, because I think, isn't Deadpool 2 also coming out next year? Yep, Deadpool 2. going to be fucking awesome. 
I think Deadpool so many times, I swear to God. No, yeah, there's that movie Aquaman, which I'm actually excited for. After seeing Justice League, I'm actually excited for it, yeah. Not because of that. <laughs> I'm excited because James Wan is directing it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I, I like Justice League. I'm like one of the ten people that liked it, so... <laughs> but it's just like, yeah, because Jason Momoa always told me as fucking Aquaman. I'm just like, if this is what he's gonna be like, I'm cool. Instead of, like, instead of that yeah. retard that he was in Injustice 2. Oh, man, you know, he was awesome if they had, like, an actual Jason Momoa costume in Injustice 2. Oh, like he was I one would... of those uh, special DLC skins? Yeah, I would have totally have bought that. <laughs> oh, yeah, same here. Yeah. I was like, I have a reason to see Aquaman. <laughs> I have a reason to give a shit. No, no, right. I actually like this character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Eddie? Uh... Starting next year, I'm gonna officially change my screen names and everything. Nice. <laughs> that and then, like that, and with the introduction of next year, I'm going to be, I'm still gonna be doing guide videos. I'm not gonna stop doing things. I'm just gonna make a better effort to do more things as far as YouTube and streaming goes. You can't goes. tell me what to do, internet. <laughs> yeah, but this is me, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I was supposed to be you. <laughs> Because I can't even take your voice all of a sudden, you're throwing me shade? Yeah, yeah exactly. But that is okay, you still got your plate at the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! That's the, but that's, that's really the main, the main thing. That and, I, I mean, I want to say get a job, but that's not exactly up to me. Yeah, it does point. <laughs> but besides, right. like, but besides. Like, I will say this though, because it's just like, Two of the biggest things that I'm also looking forward to uh, happen next month. Uh, wait, no, is it next month or is it? Hunter and BBS? Yep. Because I was gonna say like, uh, no, I think those come out in February. No, they come out next month. Oh, nice. At the, say, same I mean, day. At the same day. Yeah, that, that, that part I remember that. That part I remember you talking. Mm -hmm. It's just like yeah, because because uh, I'm excited because I think because uh, I played the beta. The the the, the beta was solid. So um. And I remember, like, we played it and you liked it, Jess. I was just like, oh, awesome, I got a hunting buddy. Um, to tomorrow, too, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing a second public beta uh, uh, tomorrow. Word. Yeah, boy. And so, like, fucking, uh, you know, like, that's going to be awesome because I'm going to have, like, a whole shit ton of content for streams and stuff. And then uh, DBFZ, who knows, we might actually end up having a game where it's just, like, everyone gathers up to play and shit. Because, fucking, uh... Because all the games that have been coming out so far right now, it's like, we've never had a game where we have all, where all of our friends have actually gotten together to do, like, big lobbies. Because it's just like, because uh, we have our problems with Tekken, so Eddie's alone, uh, everyone's got a problem with Street Fighter, so I'm alone, Jazz fucking, uh, I don't even know what the hell he plays. I do my own thing. Jazz yeah. hates, <laughs> Jazz <laughs> hates <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> In like fucking uh, Jen, I think he said he was like considering playing British. British games. We don't count Jen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where is he right now? That pretty bastard. <laughs> so it's just like, um, hopefully, uh, DBFZ might be, like, end up getting at least enough people uh, like addicted to it that we'll actually be able to get some decent lobbies going. Damn it! I should not. I should not have come in here with this weapon. I didn't know that this would be a nightmare mission. You up for our top ten now? I believe so. Yeah. All right. So the format I want to do so we don't get confused and there's not a, like a person talking all the time is do we all do our tens then we all do our nines, so on and so forth. Uh, mm -hmm. sure. I mean, these are all like our own personal lists, and it's just like, yeah. Yeah, so, who wants to start? I'm gonna cut everybody off by saying if Destiny 2 is on your list, you're a piece of garbage. That's not even I never even played it. Good! <laughs> <laughs> not even close. <laughs> like, I played more Battlefront 2 than I played Destiny 2. What's I that? I heard chilling there. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my turkey? Right? Like, excuse me, sir. I don't allow shilling in this, even though it's yours. <laughs> this is my podcast, so you Yeah, have. yeah, right? <laughs> I'm still looking for my check. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, 
Do anyone want to start first or? I start uh, off. I start off. I can start off with mine. But holy shit, what am I gonna have for number ten? I mean, you can have a section for honorable mentions. Uh, well, I already have one honorable mention. Uh, uh, and, and shit, it's games that came out this year, right? Yes. God, year. God damn it. <laughs> honorable mention, Fortnite. Alright. Because, yeah, technically that came out, like, what, last year? Technically, yeah. Which is, which is one of my I, actually that's one of the reasons why I have an honorable mention myself which is um, Final Fantasy 15 Final Fantasy 15 came out this year? Last year. Last that's bitch. That's why that's my honorable mention. Bitch! God damn it. <laughs> this is stolen your idea. Damn. <laughs> it's just I think, I think I have bought I have bought less than 10 games this year. Well, then those those games would be your top eight, and then you just pull one out of your ass. <laughs> that's 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 exactly what I did with Fortnite. I just like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull something out of my ass here and just hope for the best. All right. Well, I guess I'll start it because I wanted to be like whatever the ten is and why it's at that point, and not a uh, higher. Right. And my top ten, to probably some people surprised, some people's not surprised, is Tekken Seven. Bitch! How <laughs> dare you! <laughs> nah, I'm not nah, fucking with you. Tekken doesn't. Tekken Seven does not deserve to be as high as I made it seem. No, I mean, yeah, like you, you know the reason why it's not higher on my list. Oh, I. I <laughs> no. Know, so it's like, honestly, as a game, I if I didn't play it with you guys, I probably wouldn't have gotten the game. That being said, and Lucy will disagree with me on this, I know he will because he's already played it. Uh huh. It has one of my favorite boss fights ever. <laughs> and that is the Akuma fight at the hardest level. <laughs> now I can understand why you like it. Like, that that Man. right there is was enough for me to be like, I, I'm glad I got this. That should have been. That fight just made my head hurt. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it just. Why it did just... that make your head? Because like I was like I wasn't losing I was losing because of plot armor that's why I was I wasn't I wasn't getting outplayed like Shinokuma was just like that's my dick. Every intro fail. And like and like in a fight in a fighting game I really don't I don't like that in a fighting game not in a fighting game. In an RPG, be as broken as you want. But like in a fighting game, an enemy that's in the middle of some shit being done to him, he's just like, I don't feel, I'm bored. I'm bored. Here's a Hadouken <laughs> up your ass. Like, I'm all of a sudden, I'm magic. <laughs> no, I love, I love hard boss fights. Like, they're great for me. So any kind of like hard boss fight, but like SNK boss fights, they're basically impossible and I love them. <laughs> Because when I beat them, I feel fucking accomplished. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. I can see why. So it definitely had my favorite boss fight probably of this year, and that is one big reason I had it as my number ten spot and not any higher. <laughs> like, one, like, like the one thing I'll say though is just like the uh, because the one thing I was saying that I sort uh, I will sort of disagree on, but even then it's just kind of like it's so minuscule that's why that's why I didn't even bother like uh, making uh, like like talking about it is because like. All I was saying is, I was just kind of hoping that, like, uh, Akuma looked like, uh, because it's supposed to be Shin Akuma, mm -hmm. I was hoping that he looked like his, uh, s uh, or CBS2 look. That, that's all. Because mm -hmm. it's just like, uh, because that goes for any game, and like, that's my favorite design for him. But it's just like, uh, because that is just like, when it's just the purple gear or whatever, I'm just kind of mm -hmm. like, eh, that's okay, but I mean, like, it, I really want to see him, like, transform. Which is, which is fine. Although yeah. I will say another, the reason, another reason why this is at my ten is because of that fight as well. There was two things I kind of wish they did with that fight. One was that it wasn't character locked to Kazuya. Like maybe like or, you know how Street Fighter does it—you have to do certain things in arcade in order to get that fight, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you can do it with your character. Like I would have loved that aspect. Or yeah, like they could have had like they could have had both. They could have had the one where it's just like you're stuck with Kazuya, and then they have one where it's just like okay, you can just fight him. Exactly. Like you have the choice. 
I, I, but I think, but even then, he's not. Uh, Akuma was a story mode boss. Uh, it's it's funny you say that because he actually could be your final fight in the arcade. He could be, but I think that was also dependent on who you chose. I think. No, you no? only had to get okay. one perfect, and then you fought him. No, oh. all right. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's what, like when it had something like that, I was kind of hoping like, well, maybe if I get something like get one perfect, do one rage art, do one rage god, you get the special big Akuma or whatever. Like that would have been cool to me. But I mean, not to knock the fight because the fight was awesome. But I would have loved that aspect more. If that makes any sense. Hold on a second. Did you have to do the hardest fight? Did you have to do that Akuma fight on the hardest difficulty to get a trophy? No. Oh, I know what you're talking. No, to get that trophy for PSN, no. But to get like the title, yes. That's why I said fuck that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't fucking have to. Yeah, no wonder I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> because, I, I mean, because, and even then, like I said earlier, it did nothing but give me a headache. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't even bother doing the hardest difficult. I didn't do that 15 star Akuma fight. Because, one, I didn't have to. And then, two, because I didn't want to. Which is all fine. Like, it was just more for me than anything else. That was why that's there. But uh, that's my second set. But, but we, <laughs> we, we discussed it. Hold on, I'm, hold on. I'm gonna have to put out a list. I'm gonna have to look up all the video games that Can release. Yeah. I'm, right. I'm so glad I did that uh, prior. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because I like I got I got some of this look. Dude, I got I got some of this on the list. Mm. But I just. I just need to get something together. That's all. Okay. Well, uh, well I, I got some time burning because um, because I, I do have like two honorable mentions, and the reason why, because I was I thought we were gonna do this like in the by watch mojo style where it's like the honorable mentions are before number one. But yeah, I uh, thought about that. But I was like, man, let's just get those out of the way. Uh, okay. Because um, yeah, my honorable mentions are I put in this Gaia Five and Kingdom Hearts One Point Five uh, plus Two Point Five. Did That's the, basically because mm -hmm. those games uh, came out, you know, uh, they came out way earlier and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, okay, fine. And I, I mean, I can fine too. But nothing I got to go crazy over. Plus, I still haven't even really finished, like, all the Kingdom Hearts games that came in the fucking disc. Mm -hmm. And uh, my number 10 is, uh, I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but man, the, what little time I have spent with it, I'm actually, like, super happy with is uh, Neo. Oh, uh, yeah, Neo. And the only reason I put it at number 10 is because I haven't spent a lot of time with it. Fair enough. Like, to put it up higher on the list, I'd have to have uh, played a shit ton of it. But it's just mm -hmm. like, yeah, because I, I, I almost find it like the more... The, 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 the difficulty that makes more sense version of fucking Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, yeah, uh, well, I'm really interested to see how like, it develops, because I'm still fucking dying with that like, early parts where I was fucking streaming. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that's my number 10. You know, it's kind of funny because I knew you would like it you know, because of uh, how it feels kind of like faster. The uh, Dark Souls is a guy in this thing. <laughs> well, I mean, like, that, that's a part of it. Like, like, that's definitely a big aspect of it. But, like, the thing that, like, I really enjoy about it is how. And believe me, it, like, the, the fucking uh, buttons are crazy as hell. Like, fucking, in comparison, Dark Souls are a lot simpler. What I like about it though is um, how, like again, the, the deaths just make more sense to me. That whole fucking thing I keep talking about when I play Dark Souls with like the arrow that fucking turns mid fucking uh, in mid air, mm -hmm. like that shit just seems to me like uh, like a fake uh, difficulty spike because mm -hmm. it's just, like it shouldn't be there, you know. But it, like uh, so the fact that that was already missing from me, I was just like that's already giving me like major bonus points. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, the options to fight like the other, like those wraiths or whatever the hell they're called, that the, the, uh, all like the other players. Oh uh, yeah, the little the swords that's fucking the ground stuff. So. Yeah, those are those are something that are cool too. Instead of like the whole fucking like, hey, because uh, I I don't think I imagine that it's got that uh, system instead of like the Dark Souls system where it's like, hey, you're being invaded, some asshole's gonna kill you while you're in the middle of a quest. Yeah, this is kind of bullshit. They also yeah. they also added its own PVP section too, so people can just fight each other like that. And that makes more sense to me instead of just like, hey, we're pumping up all this fake ass difficulty. Mm -hmm. 
no, the game the game still gets rightfully stupid. Oh, I'm sure, because I've, I've felt like, like I'm playing this, so like, I've, I've heard this called like the, the like, uh, like a Japanese theme Dark Souls, and like, I'm fine with that. It's just that like, a lot of the, the difficulty spikes that are in there aren't like fucking something that are just made to be irritating. Well, where like, you- this shit like, makes sense. Where you are right now, it makes sense, yeah. Once you, once you, because once you get as far as about I am, and out of all of, all of, maybe potentially out of anyone that we all know i am the furthest hmm. and and it and the, the difficulty spike gets stupid at a certain point uh do, do, do most attacks still like uh go forward after they're shot they don't make any fucking major turns no nothing like that it's just that no, i'm happy i'm happy all right cool but like i'll say this like while it does get stupid hard it still follows the rules, unlike Dark Souls, where it's like it wants to bend and break them. <laughs> yeah, like that, that already like sounds like infinitely better to me. And when well, it's the, I mean Neil has its own problems with its own rules and everything like that, but that's not something we can talk about right now. That's not something we got to be I'm, on about. Like, and I'm sure that it, it probably does. Like, I'm, like there's a lot of games where it's just like uh, there's like a, a ton of games that do that, but I'm just saying there's like. The Neo just seems like uh, it's, it's a lot more well crafted and a lot more fair, but it's still difficult. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted out of Dark Souls instead of just like a lot of the bullshit that you see. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like something something that's supposed to be going straight and just just starts to turn to you fucking have, wanted you know, and just turn. I found that out. <laughs> <laughs> If it'd be like fucking playing a shooting game and someone shoots a fucking gun, the bullet the bullet passes the target, but it's like it makes a U-turn. <laughs> like fuck you. Well, Eddie, you got yours yet? Not a tenth one. Not a, not a top ten. Right. I didn't. I ne know. Neo is on that list. Neo is one of the best games that I've played. Mm -hmm. I can I can probably give you a top five. Okay, so we'll get to our things and then when we get to the five we'll join in <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's gonna disappear for a second <laughs> right. though right, I, so. though i will i think i may call bullshit just because <laughs> like at, at the time at the time of this the games that i'm enjoying right now are they may not be games that released this year but then mm -hmm. but then again that's just the type of person i am like mm -hmm. I'm not always I'm not always on top of like new releases and all that. Fair enough. But I'm looking I'm looking through it. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you go first or me? Uh I guess I'll go. Um so let, let me let me ask you this. Um are you like uh sort of crossing out any of the overlap we have or Cross uh, no. Oh. Because well, there's a good chance that we're not gonna <laughs> All right, because uh, my number nine. The reason why I'm asking is it is because my number nine is uh, Injustice Two. Mm. I totally, I totally did buy that game this year, didn't I? <laughs> 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 yeah, man, it was that memorable for you. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it no, it had served it served its purpose and. The only the, the purpose that it served for me was to, just just a fighting game that I could hit people with that will hold me until Tekken Seven came out and that it yeah. did it did its duty. Basically, did it for like what you, um, Dazi and Ross. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Before he lost his internet. Exactly. Before that happened. Absolutely. We gotta get this guy. We gotta get that guy on an episode one day. I was gonna yeah. buy him a VPN, but then I quit my job. <laughs> right, well, uh, Injustice Two is my number nine because it's just like uh, it's 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 low on the list because I still feel like their moves a lot of their moves are still like weird and uh, like a lot of weirdly placed moves. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I see what you uh, mean. Like that's that's one of the things that's been bugging me since the first one. But uh, I do like the uh, I like the graphics. Um, the story I've never like I'm not as big a fan of. Um, like I, I've, I've watched more uh, the uh, Mortal Kombat Nine and Injustice One, the movies uh, on YouTube, uh, a lot more than I've seen the ones for Injustice Two. 
Uh, uh, but the one of the biggest things about it though is that like, I, if I had, if the reason why I'm putting it on this list at all is because I do enjoy the roster. I like that they put in Dark Side. I like that they put in Hellboy. I'm I'm excited for when the Turtles come out. Uh, that like that's the biggest thing I uh, I really do like about uh, the game. That's the, that's the only reason I haven't sold it yet. Although mm -hmm. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I guess it's my turn now? Uh... Yeah, boy. Yeah, uh, cause I can't think of much else. Alrighty, so... My number 9... Is actually a surprise to me... When I was making this list. Because this one came out fairly recently. And nobody was expecting it to come out, really. And honestly... When I first saw this game, I was thinking... Of a cash grab game, whatever. But then I found out it was free. So I was just like, okay, let's go try it. I, I honestly have to say, I had quite a blast with this game. And the game I am talking about is Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator. <laughs> and, uh, like, honestly, when I heard that this thing came out, I was like, what the hell? Really, we're doing another FNAF game? <laughs> and while it does have the element of the normal FNAF game, of the whole, you can't get caught by the animatronics, blah blah blah, stuff like that. The game goes so much deeper than that, than any of the other FNAF games. Like, it's almost weird that this game is free to me. <laughs> because <laughs> it feels like there was so much more work in this game than any other game that he's, uh, Scott Compton has put out. Like, you have, like, the normal game, but then you also you have to make your pizzeria to make it so that people come in to want to go eat pizza, take their kids there, all that other stuff. And while doing that, you also get to bring in arcade games that you can actually play yourself as little mini-games. It's almost but, like you build up the legend that it's supposed to play out. Exactly. In a way, yeah. And on top of that, like, all the little uh, arcades you can actually play, and they're actually mini-games within the game. And that's a whole other aspect to it. But as you know, with FNAF, nothing is as, ever, as it seems. So, the game has multiple endings. And if I remember, it's like four endings. I think it's like six. Maybe six. Uh, oh, there's only four, really, that I really cared about, though. The one that I think you might know, Moosey, is the lazy ending. <laughs> Where, like, you do nothing. You absolutely do nothing, and you just do bare minimum throughout the entire <laughs> game. Like, and the frustrating thing about that ending is that you're thinking, okay, if I do nothing, which means, like, not salvaging uh, animatronics or whatever, nothing's going to attack you at night, right? Right. But in the last night, you actually have to fight one animatronic from catching you. Hmm. But you don't know it until it gets close to the end. So it freaks <laughs> you out when it happens. <laughs> the, like, when you win, the, like, the ending is hilarious. Like, they're like, okay, you're the best employee of laziness that we've ever had and you were <laughs> fired <laughs> and then like you get like this plaque saying you get the plaque of mediocrity <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like a super hilarious <laughs> but, yeah because like, like the the ending i'm most um uh the ending i know the the, the most is that uh, was the completionist ending yes and that was uh, the other one which i was going to bring up that ending right there, uh, you know it's a FNAF game where you have to do all these secrets and shit just to get the true ending out of it. But when you get that ending, it really feels like an ending to the FNAF series. Like a complete oh, yeah. ending. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, wow, it went all the way up to this, and this game was free. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it blew, like, kind of blew my mind on that aspect. And, like, I, I honestly go back to the game again, just to see what uh, if there's any other secrets I can find. But, uh... Yeah, I'm like, game theory of this bitch. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, like, that's that's the, probably the best reason why this is my number nine. Honestly, it, I almost thought this could go up higher, but as I thought about my list, I was like, you know what, no, number nine is probably fine. Because at the end of the day, it's still a FNAF game at its core. <laughs> And I've never been the biggest person of a FNAF game, to be honest. I like the lore, not much the gameplay. <laughs> right. That's my number nine. All right. So, my number eight is uh, Splatoon 2. Mm. And the reason why I put it number eight is because, like, I can, yeah, I definitely get some entertainment out of it. Um, I got it when, uh, before I had the... 
the library of uh, uh, Switch games that I have right now, because like when I got it at the time, all I had was like Breath of the Wild and this guy five. So it was like something that, that I had. And I was like, oh, it's a fun little uh, arcade game, you know, pop in and out and fucking play whenever. And uh, I can see uh, why it's got a fan base. Uh, I mean, there's also a bunch of weirdos there too, so fuck it. Uh, uh, I, I, I do think the mechanics there is like really solid. Uh, it was something that I, I did enjoy. The, um, the, uh, and it was also something that was kind of a nice, a nice distraction. Uh, because at the time when I was playing it, I was also waiting for uh, Overwatch to update uh, some more of its stuff because honestly, the biggest thing that I hate about Overwatch is how long it takes for it to update its content. Mm. I thought, okay, it's actually like a nice substitute. Mm. And, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, no, like sometimes I might still pop it in every once in a while, but I want, uh, I'm still, that's mostly because I'm still waiting for this one weapon before I really start to get into it. Fair enough. Mm, that's about it. Alrighty. My number eight game. I mean, if you've seen me, you, I streamed this game once, and if you saw that stream, you know why it's on this list. But the game is Friday the 13th. Oh my god. <laughs> I have <laughs> never laughed so hard in my entire life <laughs> this year. <laughs> that part where you freaking almost run over uh, Jason, I still <laughs> makes me laugh. Like, I, I, I don't think I've ever gotten so much enjoyment out of a game that's still practically a little broken. But, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, I still play that game constantly. Like. I'll just be like bored all of a sudden. Let me play Friday the Thirteenth, and like it's another thing. Like you can control Jason, and it gets fun that way too. Like I wish I would stream one time where like I broke this person's back, and they ended up flying into the sky, <laughs> 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 and they were like ragdoll like crazy. It was hilarious. <laughs> like the bugs surprisingly make it that much more fun to me. It's <laughs> saying a lot for a game like that. But yeah, that, uh, that's my number eight on there. Like, I could just play that game and just have complete enjoyment out of it. Right. I do have All a. Right. I think I got. I got an honorable mention. Uh, Alrighty. Rainbow Six Siege. Mm. I came back. I came back to uh, Rainbow Six Siege again, and I'm somewhat. I do feel myself quite dedicated to being great at that game again. Hmm. Nice. But listen, I know that was good because you and Ross and uh, someone else was playing with y'all. Was it Dazi or Lee? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I <did that. laughs> but yeah, I, every time I saw y'all stream, y'all used to have a blast. So I know that's been pretty good for you on that one. Yeah, I'm getting back into Rainbow Six Siege. I have, uh, man, I it, it it is it is a fucking struggle. Mm. It is it it's a great struggle, but god damn it, it's a fucking struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, cause that seems like with one of those games, kind of like Splatoon and Overwatch and shit, where it's just kind of like it's that much more fun when you're playing in a team. Whereas when you're playing solo, it's just like if you get a fucking team full of idiots, that's just gonna make you rage. It is a team comp game. Hmm. Despite what anyone says, Rainbow Six Siege is a team comp game, just like Overwatch, just like. Just like any game, just like that. Yeah, because you can get fucked easy if you're just doing solo shit. Abs yeah. Absolutely. If everyone's like lone wolf in it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, that's my. That's one of my honorable mentions. My other honorable mention is Warframe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Because Warframe is great, and fuck Destiny too. That's why. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Simple. Simple to the point. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. So you did your number eight. eight. Yep. Good. Uh, my number seven was Horizon. Mm -hmm. I have that Good. game. <laughs> Is it on your list, Eddie? It it can't be on my list. I haven't played it yet. 
Hmm. Ah, okay. Um, the reason I put it, like, so low on my list is because it is a good game, and I really was interested in the story about, like, how the machines happen to show up. And since Eddie hasn't played it, I'm not gonna mention, like, spoilers. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Call me Steve-O. Think... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can kick you out right now. <laughs> <laughs> um... So you but, can't kick me out of this Discord. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> so was I looking in your direction, Jess? <laughs> well then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the biggest reason why I put it like so low on the list, because it, like it wouldn't be on the list at all if I thought it was bad. But um, the reason I put it so low on the list is because I was kind of hoping it would be a bit more. Uh, uh, monster huntery in that you know you take uh you kill the monsters and then you make the parts uh you make you make your weapons and shit out of the robot parts you know and you, you get like some really uh, insane weapons the weapons are fine for what you're trying to do and for what for the game is but i guess i, I guess you could say i was kind of hoping more for more and that sort of blew up in my face Fair enough. But I would say, yeah, def- I, I would say if you if you are interested in getting it for like the narrative or whatever, definitely give it a shot. Hmm. Alrighty, I guess we're going to my seventh pick, and my seventh pick is a game that came out in October, and that is Evil Within Two. Now I played the first Evil Within, and I kind of thought that um, I can't think of the guy's name, but I think his head just kind of stuck up his ass a little bit <laughs> when he made the first one. But like when I heard that the second one was coming out, I saw how it looked, and it looked so much better than the first one. And I was like, how is this on the same console? <laughs> it looked that much better. <laughs> but um, after trying it, it definitely was a better story. Everything was more concrete, and you can kind of tell that it was. Uh, it's supposed to be like that because even the director himself was like for anybody who royally wants to know the story play it on easy so you can really enjoy the story in that aspect it's kind of weird but I mean, once you play it you kind of understand why um because like it's more open worldish than the first one was uh in some parts and like you're gonna want to explore the game learn everything about it and whatnot and on the harder difficulties it's much harder because the game is based on a survival thing where if you don't really manage the shit, you're fucked. It's basic Resident Evil style stuff. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that game. The only thing is, as far as the story is being hyped up was, I wasn't feeling it as much as pretty much everyone else was. Like, everyone else was blowing up and was like, oh, this is so good, I can't wait for the next one. And I was like, yeah, it was good, but uh, it wasn't blowing me away. So, well, I do enjoy the gameplay and all the stuff and all the monsters, and this is definitely better than Evil Within 1. Eh. You know. <laughs> Evil Within 2, guys. Go try it out. Go hmm. see zombies. <laughs> and that is my number 7. Uh, do you have any other stuff, Eddie, or are we waiting for your number 5? I, th- I got a number 6. Alright. Number six, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Oh, God. <laughs> no, look, uh, look. As much as people shit on the game, as much, I mean, I, I still have the game downloaded. It's, it's still an enjoyable game. I, I, it's fun. It's fun, all right? No, I, 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 I can't really say anything because I took Friday the 13th on so, <laughs> but no, I'm just, I'm just laughing at the point, like, when you screamed it, and you were in the helicopter, and the blades just stopped moving, and you were floating in the air. Yeah, and I was, yeah, and I was losing, and I was, and I was losing my goddamn mind the entire time, like, what the fuck, what do I do? <laughs> Is that the thing? I it, so hard. Either, either it is a thing, or it was a thing. Like the game was really, the game, the game was really buggy when it came out. So it's like, so it's like when you were playing co-op with your friends, there was uh, desyncing issues. So like, what what would happen on one person's screen wouldn't be what was happening on another player's screen. So it's like it's me, it's me and three of my me three of my bros. One of like, you know, there was an incident with the propeller not moving, and it's just like, whoa, that's fucking weird. 
<laughs> so what? So so apparently, me one of my friends got desynced from the game. But what on my screen? What I saw was my one of my friends just hopped out of the fucking helicopter for no apparent reason. And I'm just like, fuck it, I'm going with you, right? Like I ain't gonna leave you here by yourself. Then he saw. Then he saw me do it. He's just like, "Yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what do you mean? What am I doing? I saw you hopped out. Like, I didn't hop out of the helicopter. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! Not oh, let, man. not let in the water. <laughs> there was also this one. There was also this one glitch where you tried to get into a car, and then the game would desync you from everybody else. So someone got into the car and started speeding off but they were just running right next to the fucking car found it <laughs> you found it <laughs> all right all right later good shit all right so you at least you know at least you know it's true now like i wish i could make this shit up <laughs> it's funny because it's like fuck. It almost sounds like the same thing as the why Jazz Black's Friday the Thirteenth. It really was. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right, final. So, uh... Yes, number number six. That that game was fun. I don't care what anyone else says. <laughs> Good for you, man. I, we're all, I think we're gonna everyone one game where it's like fuck you. I like this game. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, you wanna go next, Jeff? Oh, uh, sure. My number six, which is kind of interesting because it's already been mentioned in this, uh, uh in your list, Lucy, is... That's our crossover already! <laughs> it's Injustice 2. Is it my number six game? Damn, man, you put that over Tekken. I gotta find out why. <laughs> well, I mean, for one thing, <laughs> it had the characters I wanted to play. <laughs> Oh, plus more! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> no, like, unlike Lucy, I actually enjoyed the story more than he did. Minus the fact of the Deus Ex Superman. Um, oh god, that fucking Deus Ex Superman. I was just like, come on! Like, that was kind of like, wait, whoa. You can't just gloss over that. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I like the fact that it was a game that had, like, two different endings as well. And, like, one ending was extremely dark. Like, holy fuck dark. <laughs> it really was. And, um, and I kind of, I know this probably won't happen, but I kind of hope that they actually go with that ending just to see where that goes. Yeah, they won't. They, I know they probably won't, but it would be so interesting to see that. But also, as a game as a whole, like, for a casual person playing the game, I felt more to that than Tekken 7 as well. Absolutely. fucking lootly I mean, yeah, like, it had those multiverse things, you had the little card things to where you can have your set of card people in there and you just battle out like that. It's, it had so much more to, to play on than Tekken 7 ever did. That, and, that and it had a tutorial mode. That too, like and, surprisingly. And and on, I mean, and on top of it having on top of it having a tutorial mode, Injustice Two, on a basic level, was not a difficult game to play. No, it wasn't. That's, no, I wasn't. That's not something. That's not something you can take away, especially when you just when you're just starting out like that. Like, mm -hmm. come on, like like simplicity in a game is always great. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm it. Not gonna, and, because well, what I was gonna say, and it's got one of the, something that's considered controversial now, but like the way that they did it, it's not the worst system uh, out there, which is the loot boxes. And I will slightly defend that on that aspect because one thing I've always kind of had a problem with, as far as that kind of goes, is costumes costing so much so that you can have your character look a certain way. With the right. loot box system, it kind of fixes that, to be honest. Because you can have your character look the way you want. <laughs> yep. Like, I'm not saying the loot box is gone, let's not get hasty here, but... <laughs> 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 like, their, loot, their loot boxes aren't, like, uh... They're not as broken as some other games. They're not, yeah. they're not predatory, is what you're trying like, to say. They're, they're like, they're, yeah, they're actually plentiful. You can buy, like, like decent-sized ones with in-game currency. Mm -hmm. Um... Like... 
the biggest pain in the ass about it though, and like I think you can agree with me on this, Jess, is the a lot of times the payout will give you character will give you gear for characters you don't even touch. Like mm-hmm. that's the worst part about it. But it's just like the the way that the loot box system is set up is just like well you know it's like, like oh shit I had twenty loot boxes I only got like two pieces of gear for a character I wanted but I can still get these for free without having to actually pay out of my wallet. Exactly, which is one of the reasons I deducted it a little bit and it's not higher on the list. Right. Like, that does bug me a lot. And then, like, also the legendary gear stuff also bugs me as well, although that's more minute than anything, but it still bugs me. But, um... Well, the part about it that bugs me is that it didn't take into account your previous stuff. Yeah. But, like, that, 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 that's kind of, like, bigger for me, but other than that, though, it's just kind of like, yeah, it, it, they did include it, I would have been actually like all, all, all for all for it. Hmm. And then just to add on top of uh, some things you said, they added Cowboy, they added the Ninja Turtles, they added my girl Starfire, the one character I wanted the entire game to play with. <laughs> I was enjoying with Sub Zero. Mm-hmm. Just I don't know, <laughs> like that <laughs> that game really did what I wish Tekken Seven would have done for me. And I, I can't hate on it for that. Like, even the facial animations, for me at least, were amazing. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're, they're uh, uh, really well done. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, that's my reasons for Justice 2 being my number six. Your turn, Ruth. Yeah. Um, uh, the next ones, I'm going to say that it's a, they're kind of in an interchangeable spot for me. Uh, numbers four through six. Mm-hmm. Like, they're all good, but it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like an, in one of those things where it's a situation where it's just kind of like, if I a- really analyze, uh, if I analyze them by one by one, I'll be like, oh, this one should be here, but this one should be here, and some of them, like, end up overlapping the same spot. So, they're on the list. Six I picked was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all the monies. <laughs> but, uh, like, the reason I put it uh, up there is because I'm, a, I'm more of a, like a core gameplay kind of person. Sometimes people will really get annoyed uh, by when, uh, by the graphics of a game, and I've never really, ca- I've never really been that guy. Um, like. The, the, like the fighting mechanics still seem really fun. Um, I was actually like, I, I like, I still pop it in every once in a while and enjoy myself. They put in uh, some characters that really interest me, and one of the biggest positives for me is that like they really uh, managed to rework some of the characters that I I was honestly worried that it's just like rather was hoping that they they modernize them to uh in some way because like for example. I remember when, like, they were still announcing characters, and, like, when they announced Thanos, I told Jazz, like, I was hyped, and, and I was hoping he played better than fucking his Marvel 2 version, and I honestly think he does. He's kind of, like, he's more of, like, a reworked version of his Marvel superheroes uh, version, mm-hmm. which I actually... And Venom, I, I remember when, like, they announced him, or when he was leaked, that, like, I told him uh, and some of our other friends where... I thought, like, okay, the chances of it being, like, the Eddie Brock Venom that we all know, uh, I thought those were actually kind of low. I didn't know they were going to get, like, liquid physics uh, down so well. Uh, and, and so, like, when people were complaining about, like, the voice and shit, I was just kind of like, I don't fucking care. I, they actually got the Venom that I like. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'd, be, I'd fucking be willing to put up with a voice and be able to use, like, Venom Fang and, like, the fucking, uh, uh, the Venom Bite and shit like that. And new abilities too, over the fact that he's got like a shitty voice doing it. Hmm. And uh, it, it's still like actually really good too, because I was also like, because I've tried picking up, for example, I've I've also tried picking up Dante in in Marvel Three. For some reason I just find it impossible. But in Marvel Infinite, I, I actually feel like I can get a, a better handle on him and actually be able to play him. Ryu's not garbage in this version. Uh. There's a, there's, I, I, think, I feel like there's like a lot, like a decent amount of positives to the, to the game that just get like overlooked because of like it's just like a, like I said before, it's easy just to fucking hate on something that's made by Capcom than to look at the positives. But like, so I, I enjoy, I enjoy it. I still fucking pop it in every once in a while. So I, that's why I gave it my number six. Hmm. All right. 
So are we at the number five spot? Top yep. five? Oh man. <laughs> oh man indeed. Alright, who starts it? This uh, is where the big boys come out. Alright. Fuck. Alright. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would have totally just outed myself as a hypocrite because I was going to say the y- Yakuza 0 and Yakuza Kiwami <laughs> at number f- at no- I was going to no I was going to say the re- the PS4 Yakuza games but I have not played those yet so mm-hmm. I can't I can't I can't have that one mm-hmm. so at number 5 I will have instead I'll have Neo at number 5 really all right. Neo Neo is at number 5 for me. First off because like I said, I'm the strongest like out of everybody here, I'm the strongest person that plays Neo. I'm the, I'm the best as far as strength goes. And I mean, I'm the strongest person ever. <laughs> like I had to like I, I know I had to change that up for a second. Uh how I got Neo was absolutely unbelievable. Because I would like you guys to think that I'm a man of iron will, and I, 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 and I, I am, and yeah, and I, and I want to state for the record that yes, I am. All right, yeah, yeah. Lee goaded me into buying Neo. Yeah, I knew that. Was what <laughs> like it, it was, I was just like, uh, like I'm not, like I'm not too, I'm not too hung out on Souls games like that. Like it ain't really my cup of tea, you know. Yeah. Then he was just I don't I don't know what he called me. He's some, I'm pretty sure he called me a pussy or something. I don't know what he said. <laughs> that sounds about right. I don't know what he said. I don't remember. But I was just like, all right, bitch, you want to be like that then, huh? And I bought the game, and I'm better than him at the game. Yeah, you can suck my dick. Everyone found out how to coerce Eddie. Say what? Everyone found out how to how to convince you to do shit. Yeah, no, no, it was just, it's not, I wouldn't necessarily say that's how you do it. I was on the fence. I was on the fence, but he's just like, yeah, cause, yeah, cause, you know, you're not, you suck at video games. I'm like, what, bitch, how dare you? <laughs> you know? Looking <laughs> like Marty McFly. <laughs> yeah. Makes the face and everything. <laughs> and, I, and I bought the game with the entire purpose of being better at the game than Lee is and I am. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> that like that in the game is actually really good. It I just mean, it just it just falls off at a certain point because of the developers. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Who's next? Uh I'll, I'll go next because again keep in mind a lot of these are interchangeable. It ended up being like fucking Marvel's Fox at some point in my life or something, but uh, that uh, given what happened recently, I don't know, I don't know how many people would be like uh, pissed off or something, but uh, my number five is uh, Breath of the Wild. You motherfucker! (laughs) 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 The reason why is because uh, I really did enjoy it. I guess if I had to say why it's so low, is because uh, let me really goddamn I water guess, towers. I would have to say uh, the the <laughs> lack of memorable bosses. I don't know because it's just like, like I, I I understood going in that it was going to be a new formula. That's not what bothered me. I guess it's just one of those things where it just like didn't in, like click as hard as it did for everyone else. I'm I still enjoy it and I, I'm I'm even playing it right now. Uh, but like I'm, I'm playing it on master mode. But it's just like I it just didn't fucking click for me as hard. That's I guess that's the best way I can put it. But uh, I'm still enjoying it and trying to fucking get the master sword again and everything, but and I even absolutely love the fact that someone can fucking just like wake up and end up fighting the last boss like like ten minutes later. Like props to those guys that can actually get through the fucking like broken ass castle. But it, it just didn't click as hard for me. It clicks, it's not that bad. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm up. And for this one, you're gonna see a kind of a pattern for my top five. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. For what? Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I know. (laughs) 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 
No, look, you're gonna see a pattern because a lot of the thing, like one thing I'm gonna say for a good bit of these games is you're gonna. I'm not gonna say much about it. You're gonna have to experience it yourself. <laughs> but my top, my number five is Hellblade, and the reason for this is that this is a game that not only was fairly cheap for a new game at twenty five dollars. Just to show that a game like this could be made at this amount of money. But the story is just beautiful in this game. Like, so beautifully told. And everything about it, is, it just flows right. Like, I, I want to go more into it, but for those... I want to have uh, more people try it for themselves, just to see what I mean. That being said, the reason that it's not, not number one, is not number five, is because... The gameplay is kind of in. Like, it's it's very hit or miss for a lot of people, but like what you're really there for truly is the story. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Hellblade Sentinel? Uh Sacrifice, I think that's her name. Is that the one that plays on uh mental health? Yes, that uh, is the one. Nice. Yeah, that it, that whole aspect alone makes it worth it. For me like you, anybody who's uh, even remotely interested in it try it <laughs> i think i think that won some awards at uh the game awards yes yes it did yeah it did hey Three. that's my number five all right uh i guess i'll go next uh my number four is dead rising for frank's big packet <laughs> <laughs> and like, I know that it's a game that technically came out uh, last year, but this is the only way. This is like the only time that uh, PS4 players actually got a chance to be able to play this game. So let's say it's like the like the quote unquote complete edition because it's got like a shit ton of the DLC in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it, what I enjoyed about this game. Did someone fight? Say what? <laughs> Sounds like someone farted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eddie. Uh, anyway. <laughs> nah, I heard but it too. I was, like, <laughs> but, um, what I enjoyed out of it was like, uh, I like it's what I enjoy about like any of the Dead Rising games. I love the like stupid weapons. I love the fucking like the massive amount of zombies that you can like kill in a moment. Um, I love how they made like uh, like just a big uh, just, they managed to make it so that it's like it's almost like two open worlds because it's just like you got the the mall on one half of the map and the and the fucking actual like town itself on the other. I love a lot of the costumes. I love the friggin' uh, Frank Rising mode that they added, where it's basically like Frank West uh, is a zombie. Hmm. Uh, I, I haven't even gotten through like all of the content yet, uh, but uh, one of the biggest reasons why I put it on number four is because honestly. It may it remix a character that everyone liked, or like rather, it remix a character in a way that I can enjoy because he's still like like Frank West. One of the biggest things about him is that he's an asshole. He's selfish. You know, he's like a fucking journalist that's only out to fucking uh, make it big and uh, like he doesn't care about fucking saving people, or at least that's not his main priority. Mm -hmm. uh, his his big thing is like you know I gotta get the story so that I can become big, rich and famous. And whenever I see, like, uh, whenever I play, like, the uh, Dead Rising 2 off the record, where it's like they put, they replace the main hero from the, uh, Vanilla with, uh, with Frank West, or when I, whenever I saw, like, the movie of uh, Dead Rising 1, I honestly didn't really care for Frank. You know, it's just like some people will be like, oh my god, Frank West, you know, like, what was one of his famous quotes? I covered wars, and I'm just like, that's it? That's, like, his biggest, like, fucking. That's his biggest line, and I'm supposed to like. I don't get it, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't get why. I don't get what's so fun about him. But then, um, in Dead Rising Four, like they really play up a lot of the shit, you know. Like there's like some fucking stupid scenes where like he's trying to fucking uh, escape, like like he's talking to this one uh officer dude uh when he's on, when he's on the run, and like the fucking uh the attempts he makes to fucking escape are just like the stupidest fucking shit. They make me laugh. Uh, like you fucking just like unsubtly try to open a window, just like uh, and the fucking thing stuck. It won't even open. He keeps talking, grabs the chair, chucks it out the window. Fucking nothing happens. The chair just falls on the floor, and he just kind of like, oh, fuck it. I guess I'm stuck here. Uh, like that shit made me laugh. They they just like really they just kind of uh, improved the character for me to actually the point that I actually can't find uh, enjoyment out of it. Hmm. Yeah, that's 
Fair and enough. that's one of the biggest things. One of that's one of the biggest selling points as to like why I I do enjoy like the Rising Four and Frank West in general. Fair enough. Alrighty, we on to our number four. Yep. Mm. All right. Number four. I'm gonna say number four for me is probably Fortnite. Mm. Isn't that also in your honorable mention? <laughs> I I had to take it out of the honorable mi- No, the, did I say Fortnite was an honorable mention? I remember you mentioning earlier. Earlier. God damn it. <laughs> 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 I was still stuck on I was still stuck on games like 2017 I haven't even played 10 games that came out in 2017 <laughs> much less bought any mm. so it's like god damn it man so I I gotta I guess I have to cop out and say Fortnite again alright <laughs> I, like I have to at this point just because I don't I got didn't play very many games this year. Word. Oh, I guess I'll go next. Go for and it, dude. It is another game that is also been mentioned earlier by our good friend Moosey here. Man, fuck Moosey. <laughs> 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 but it is Horizon Zero Dawn. God damn it, I need to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> um like I, I really enjoyed like almost every aspect of this game. I really don't have really many negatives, really, especially the fact that unlike a lot of female-driven your heroine games where they have to fucking sex them up and shit and whatnot, Aloy is never that girl. She needed more sex. I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Really. <laughs> 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 I'm calling you out on that really dude. <laughs> 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 but no, like she, she's definitely what I would like to call a strong female protagonist. Unlike something that is like fucking Laura Croft is basically sexy you know, for no fair reason. Well but, like, <laughs> she can be both, but it's just like I, I like I I'll say it. I'll disagree on the fact that it's just like like uh they it, they don't have to be sexy like us me. Use words this time. Um, <laughs> Use your words. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I agree. They the, the female characters don't have to be sexy to be strong, but they can be strong and sexy. Which yeah, which is what I'm trying to say. Like, she's not that kind of character like Laura Croft is. Right. Basically, she's just sexy to be sexy for Laura Croft. Versus Aloy, who's strong and can be sexy, but she doesn't have to be too strong. Basically, right. Like, she has more characteristics than, oh, I have two guns and I have boots. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> put it in play. So, like, I like that we have a strong female protagonist like that. And I did like the aspect of having to sneak around and you couldn't, like, you weren't just, like, going off, like, God of War. Everything's just gonna die in front of your path or anything. No, you had to be smart about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I remember some of, like, the giant, uh, almost T-Rex looking uh, machines going around like I freaking had a difficult time but it's fun uh, uh, I was having a difficult time killing some of them but it's just like well, when you see like the progress you're making when you're like blasting all the, all the metal plates off its back and stuff like that's really cool hmm. and then like some of that stuff you can blast off some of their weapons and use it against them which is yeah. another cool aspect I thought was a very interesting thing I kind of wish like Moosey they put that a little bit further but I do like the idea that it was actually there versus like a lot of games that don't even think about that but, right because um, like because uh, I'm, I'm down to play like a horizon 2 like I said like the biggest drawback for me was my own expectations like mm -hmm. that was the, that was the biggest uh, like weakness used against me that I created for myself because I was hoping for a crazier weapon hmm and I honestly, do, if they make it to you, I'm totally down for it as well. Like, I'll totally uh, go have the money for it. Yeah, um, yeah, same here. Yeah, like, that's pretty much my reasons for it being number four. I enjoyed the game pretty much in all, all aspects. Barely any negatives, really. <laughs> I'll probably play it on stream one day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eddie's like, you better not. I want to play it myself. <laughs> now I try my best to avoid the spoilers. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, the whole the game's really story driven. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, your turn. Oops. Uh, well, on to number three because I already said my number four. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. I, I I'm gonna take the helm with this one. Uh, my number three is Tekken Seven. You shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> like you <laughs> to the you shills. Like, hey man, look, I need that check, my guy. All right. <laughs> now the reason the reason that it's number three, the the reason that it's number three for me is because of the symbiotic relationship that I have with it. Mm. It's because because Tekken doesn't have a tutorial mode and they don't also don't have frame data in its practice. I take the time I take my time out to go and do frame data videos for characters with my main character, and it has grown my YouTube channel. So well, I wouldn't say substantially, but I'm on my way to 300. Hmm. Which is dope. Yep, absolutely. And it's and it's doing nothing but growing. I'm getting subs, I'm getting like a few subscribers by the day. Mm, nice. It's just like almost every time I wake up, there's always a new subscriber. There's always a new comment that I've gotten. It's just like, oh man, I really enjoyed this video. Hell, there's even there's even some comments where people are just like, hey, like there's some corrections that need to be made, and I'm just like, fuck yeah, there needs to be corrections made. Cause I'm not I'm not perfect. I made these videos so people can learn. Man. <laughs> I'm a person, damn it! <laughs> I'm not one of your unfeeling machines. It's it's definitely it's definitely uh it's definitely worked out in my favor. I mean, putting in putting in the work, getting the data, doing all that recording and everything as well. Like it's it's great. But it's but it's tech, and, and I'm not a fighting game player. I don't like I'm not a fighting game player. I'm a Tekken player as far as far as fighting games go. So of course, so I have a one hundred percent clear bias. Harada, I want that check. <laughs> <laughs> this is me saying I'm a shield. <laughs> it's like so, but it's like I, but I, I enjoy Tekken. I may not be great at it, may not be the best at it, but it's like that's it's like the only fighting game that I uh, that right now I am making an absolute effort of being somewhat decent at, and I don't mm. think that should count for nothing. Like that should be that should be worth something that I'm staying up early in the morning, just trying to get just trying to get it is get this fucking punish, punishment video as right as I can get it, you know. Hmm. But yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, it's, be the next <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except I keep it real until that paycheck come around. It's <laughs> <laughs> skills galore. <laughs> I'm only shilling because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you up to next. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll do this one because uh, for my number three, uh, I was having a difficult time like uh, putting this uh, somewhere on the list. Mm. But I, like thinking back about it, it's like I I enjoyed it. They actually managed to stuff. Uh, they got some reactions out of me. Uh, it's, it's a 3DS game, uh, Monster Hunter Stories. Oh man, I'm oh. bringing this El Mundo. Oh man. Because <laughs> uh, well, because it's like it's a, it's another Monster Hunter game. It's a, it's, a, it's a spin off rather, where uh, it's kind of like Pokemon meets Monster Hunter. Uh, you get to you get a lot you get to raise monsters uh, that you find like an egg nest and shit. Like that mechanic, I always I found pretty cool because you actually have to go into the monster's nest. Like find an egg and fucking book it out of the den. Otherwise, you have to fight the pissed off mom. Uh, there's a lot of like the, a lot of the mechanics that you you see. You rec they bring in a lot of the weapons that you recognize from the series. Uh, a lot of the monsters that you wish you could have as a mo uh, as a pet actually show up there. Uh, what else? Uh, they they actually managed to get some reactions out of me, like uh, in, in terms of like you know giving a shit about the character. Uh, when you when uh when you play. Because, like, a lot of times it'll be like, like for example, for Pokemon games, it's like, okay, I caught this Pokemon, I killed it, like, ten times, and I don't give a shit. And in this one, there is actually, like, a quote-unquote, like, Pikachu-type monster, where it's just kind of, like, he's, he's one of your, like, friends running around with you. And as the story unfolds, 
you actually give a shit about what happens to him. There's like some parts where like some stories start playing out. I'm actually like, shit, I actually feel sorry for this motherfucker. Um, he ended up, ended up being like one of my most used monsters on my team because like they actually put, uh, involved him in the story. Uh, there were some parts where it's just kind of like, like too, po- too much like the Pokemon anime, where it's just like, you've got like some Team Rocket-esque villains, but you mm. also have like a bunch of the monsters where it's just like, you know, it, it's, it's almost kind of like, the dip- uh, when you find some of the monsters, it's kind of like the difference between Pokemon and Digimon, where it's just kind of like, you know, you got Digimon, where it's just like these fucking scary-ass, legitimate-looking monsters, and like the scary just that you see in Pokemon is still somewhat cuddly. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, and of course, fuck Snorlax. <laughs> Big ass killer monster. Uh, and the battle system is actually like, uh, it's not that bad. It's, it's another reminiscent uh, of, uh, I guess you could say, like a rock, paper, scissors kind of system. Mm-hmm. Where, you know, some shit will be like, oh, it's super effective like this, and it's, it's not as effective as this. Uh, oh, what else? Uh, you have like a lot of uh, really cool mechanics uh, where, you know, the monsters are just there. To be like the Pokemon pets, you can actually, you actually have to, if you're uh, traveling the world, you actually have to pick and choose which ones are the monsters if you're going to be going to for specific areas because like, oh, well, here's a, a desert region, a lot of monsters tend to be weak against water or ice or something. Um, or when you're, when you're riding them, so they also tend to have like special skills and you, uh, and you can access like different areas because you're riding the, the monster that has like the, that's the, uh, particular resistance or skill that's needed and uh, I thought it was like a really well done uh, spin-off and uh, I mean I would say definitely check it out uh, I think I think it's kind of like the sales weren't super amazing so I kind of I think it's kind of like an underrated game I, I really feel like it's solid mm. that's good well it's my turn and I will start by saying all this next three are interchangeable to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just getting ready. It's <laughs> good. No. But no, um, <laughs> my third one, which is going to fall into the just play it for yourself, is What Remains of Edith Finch. And just to put a whole why I put this at number three. This game was basically my life is strange. It made me cry. <laughs> it is a very heart ripping game that is very beautifully told. And that's all I'm going to say about it so that you guys can try it yourself. <laughs> Hold up. I'm guessing it's story heavy. Hold the fuck up. It's definitely uh, story heavy. You yeah. cry during Life is Strange? No. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I cried doing what remains of Edith Finch. Okay. <laughs> I will say, you did, you, you did kind of word it so that you could get confused. Like I, that. I got it. Uh, yeah, I, I just said that. I'm like, word? Like, it, it was. It was it was like watching a lesbian porno that never got to the good part with those two. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like maybe if you cry because they did because you know it never the thing never happened. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, well, like once I'm you learn fucking... more about her, the prequel, it kind of does make it a bit more sad, but not to the point of me crying. <laughs> I see what you mean. It's all good. I was just fucking with you. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. It's, I it's... needed my lesbian porn. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> it's cool that you said that your top three are interchangeable. Because my because my final two are not or they're like none of the games that I'm deciding on are interchangeable whatsoever. I mean, my number three and my number two are interchangeable, but just amongst themselves. Mm-hmm. Not even that far from me. Interesting. Go on. <laughs> wait, wait. Are we at number two already? We are at number two. Oh shit! All right, cool. Oh, no- yeah, I forgot. He, I forgot he did his number three. Number number two is B- Tales of Berseria. I knew that was gonna be in here somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Because <laughs> because you were there with me, you, I, dude. Come on, I I went through the game not giving a shit about anybody but Velvet, a strong female lead. 
Mm. Strong female lead. I started off the game. Uh, no, she like the closest thing that she had was like (laughs) under boot. (laughs) All right, I'm sorry. (laughs) Like, don't don't worry. Will this twenty change your mind? (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Yes. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> no, but we started. We started. We started off. We started off with Velvet being the uh, being the strong and sexy female lead, and a, an entire cast full of people who, at the very beginning, I gave absolutely no fucks about. And towards the end of it, I gave a I gave a one hundred percent fuck about all of them. Mm-hmm. That's the story Dude, and. Yeah. And oh, dude, the story, the story took me in, and and it's like, and it's like the story may not be enjoyable for you. It may, mm. it may not be. But see, here's the thing about me, I like to enjoy shit. Mm. I'll, I take it for what it is. You know what I mean? Mm. And when I say like I take it for what it is, Tales of Berseria, like I was even saying while I was streaming it, it's one of my, it is, it's gearing up to be one of my favorite Tales games of all time. Mm. And you're talking to a man who did 15 playthroughs of Tales of Exilia 2 because he loved it that much. I was there for one or two. <laughs> yeah, you were there. You were there for most of them, you know? Mm. But even mm. but even then, it's just the way the way the combat works. Just the way the crafting works, just everything is just it all falls in line. There was no annoying water temple that I had to go through. <laughs> <laughs> that's now that's that's what really did it for me. <laughs> but oh, but oh, but all in all, it was a very at least for me, it was a very enjoyable game. Hmm. To the point, to the point where I am going to go for platinum for that game. I'm gonna go for platinum for a lot of games, but right now, Tales of Berseria is just like, like, yo, I'm, 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 I'm doing it. Word. I don't mind. I don't mind taking that plunge. Nice. That's um, yeah. I like. I really, I really enjoyed my time with that game. Forty, forty hours in on one playthrough. Like yeah, it was, yeah, it was forty hours. It? it was like forty, forty three in total. Mm. Forty three, forty three hours when I beat the game. It's like yeah, I enjoyed every single second of it. Mm. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, uh I mean, that's okay. Uh, for my number two. Uh, I picked Mario Rabbit Kingdom Battle. Isn't that like uh, isn't that like XCOM but for Nintendo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically yeah, it's basically XCOM from, from Nintendo. But the, I mean, the reason I put it on my number is because like first of all, I've never played an XCOM game. I actually find myself enjoying uh, like a strategy game, which is kind of rare on my half. A hey, new experiences, um, thumb that shit up. Yep. So you know, new experiences, you got that. Um, the, a lot of uh. I thought that like a lot of the stuff they did with the worlds uh, was actually like pretty cool. Like some of the puzzles and stuff, they were really interesting. Uh, uh, I, I also like really enjoyed the the final boss battle. Uh, it was like uh, it, it's something that uh, I would uh, like. I, I find kind of memorable when you when you fight uh, against like uh, that specific creature. I'm gonna say to avoid spoilers. Right. I mean, depends on you know who it's gonna be, but still. They, they had a twist. Mm. Um, but like the biggest reason why I put it so high up on my list is because it's an Ubisoft game with a Nintendo property, and they didn't fuck it up. It says a lot, actually. <laughs> like, yeah, because <laughs> it's just like you've like it's it's kind of like you like if you've seen the history of Mario and any of the times when Nintendo's given the permission to use Mario as the property, like, it's, it's historic that it normally fucks up. It normally fucks up or fucks up bad. <laughs> Biggest example being the Mario movie. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be like the room or something, so... I've seen it and shit, I'm just saying. Um, no, to the room. <laughs> 
And I mean, like, shit, I'm nervous about, like, the Illumination Mario movie that's coming up, so I'm just kind of like, oh, God, I hope I want it to be good. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Um, and so, like, the fact that it's, um... It, it's just, like, a decently made game and everything, but the fact that it's a Mario game, a third-party Mario game that isn't fucked up, is already, like, speaks volumes to me. Nice. Because, like, one of my top four characters of all time is Mario. So it's just like, the fact that they didn't fuck it up, I'm just kind of like, thank you! Mm. Nice. Can't about it? I'm, glad right. you, I'm glad you feel very passionately about it. Mm. Alrighty, well, my number two, at one point, was actually much, much lower on my list. <laughs> But, then but, I said, Fuck that. Uh, but no, it was actually something that recently came out that changed that for me. My number two is Resident Evil Seven. Really? Yes. All right. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Lay it on us. <laughs> like my my gold edition is still like wrapped in its plastic, so it didn't even make it on this list. And that is why it changed for me. <laughs> that gold <laughs> edition right there. <laughs> Wait, seriously? I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, this was at number eight for me. Maybe number nine at one point. But then the DLC came out, and it kind of fixed things for me. <laughs> <laughs> because, as, like, I streamed it, like, when it first came out. I loved the game. The game was, a, like, a basic, like, eight out of ten for me when I uh, first play, uh, played the game. But then I had, like, all these questions, like, okay... Why is it that the bad... There's no way to save Zoe, basically. Like, that seems kind of always irks me to the point of, like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> well, it's, the game's been out for a year. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... And honestly, I'm not going to get too much more spoilery than that. But, um... Like, there's, like, incredible boss fights. R ridiculous designs for them that are very memorable. <laughs> <laughs> Um, some pretty cool weapons and some very interesting horror aspects of the game. Now, I'm pretty much not going to go much further into that aspect of it. But overall, like, after Resident Evil 6, this was like a huge step up. But then, like, also there was the reveal of a certain character from the series that had everybody like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm not going to say who that is, just in case you haven't beaten the game or... But let me just tell you, after that, and then they start saying that it's really person, it's just like, what? <laughs> and I, I was just like, okay, all these things that are adding up to the game as the, as the original state, it made it to like, okay, it's a good game, but it's not like game of the year for me. Then comes around, what, last week, or last weekend, I think? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, Whenever a gold edition came out. And then I played the two deal new DLCs that came on it. And let me just say, those completely changed my mind about a lot of things about this game. <laughs> really? It really did. And I not only that, but there's one in particular on there. I'm not going to tell you which one, but that was like my favorite part of the game. <laughs> hmm. Like, I was literally like yelling in my room, like, yes, this is hype. <laughs> 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 but with those two things added on top of it, and I'm not going to say what they are, what you do, although, I mean, once again, it's, it has to do with the DLC, one of them that's been announced, like, since, what, January, and then the other one that kind of got announced when Gold Edition was announced, on top of all the other DLCs that were uh, on that, which actually filled holes in the story that made it, like, okay, how did this happen, how did that happen, like, everything kind of gets filled. Uh, uh, to, uh, to put it bluntly, <laughs> but with that all together, that's why it is my number two, because that is a game I will always go to now as one of my top Resident Evil out of all of them, and there are seven of them, so that says a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's my no reason to come back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's my number two. All right, so down to the number one spot. Who wants to go first? Your boy right here. Number right. number one, Persona Five, bar none. Oh, 
I knew it. <laughs> a bar, for, a bar, fucking none. What? Come on. No, I know. I'm not saying that's a bad choice at all. Just, I knew it was your number one. It's like I knew it. Like, yeah, you goddamn right. You knew it. What? One hundred twenty hours on the first playthrough. <laughs> Enjoyed every single second of it. The like the beginning was lit. The middle was lit. That persona, that classic persona twist that they always give you was lit. The final boss was lit. The first one. The second one was lit. The third one was lit. And the fourth one was lit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the entire game equals lit. Fire emoji. <laughs> To, fire <laughs> to to the point to the point that even Lee and I are too afraid to start another playthrough of Persona Five because it will suck another two hundred hours out of each of us. <laughs> so we're playing like so it's just like we're not we're not getting rid of it. It's gonna stay on our PS4 forever. But goddamn it, if we accidentally hit X, just like oh god damn it, there goes my life. <laughs> <laughs> Like, God damn it, I've really done it now. But yeah, yeah, Persona Persona 5 without a fucking shadow of a goddamn doubt, number one game. Word. Word. Alright, Noopsy, wanna go next? Okay. Alright, uh, I don't think it's gonna surprise anyone, or like, it's not gonna surprise Jazz. Because the people listening to this are only listening to the second episode. But, um, it's not going to surprise anyone that my, my number one take is Star Wars Battle from 2. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Mario Odyssey. Oh my oh, god. No, I love that, the shit out of that game. No, that game is the world game of the year, though. Oh, well, it should have been. It's fucking, like, TGA Breath of the Wild one. Oh, Breath of the Wild one. No, Mario Odyssey was true goat. Oh yeah, friggin' Mario Odyssey was insanely well done. Fucking music, the fucking level design, the fucking change up to like like the slight change up to the formula, but the, the way that they make it so that it's just like you still end up spending like fucking hours and hours on it on that second game. Yep. Uh, the 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 cap mechanic is insane. Uh, what else? The graphics? Something like, like I, something I don't normally give a shit about. Still thought that like I, I take time to enter a level to think this fucking level is fucking beautiful. Dude, Super uh, Mario Odyssey. Every single strand of Mario's hair was made. Oh, exactly. Dude. They like, they like, built they that man insane. from the fucking ground up. Like they. The fucking cloud looked fluffy as shit. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, and I mean like this, like, while the story, well, like, it's, it's classic Mario stuff, you know, you go and save the princess, you know, it's, it, it's nothing, like, revolutionary there. Nope. But, uh, some of the stuff that they do pull off, I do think is really, is really good, like, you, you met, you meet, like, the, the rabbit dudes, the brutals, uh, they, they have, like, really interesting mechanics. The fucking post game content that's also fucking good, and it's actually pretty damn hard too. Mm. Uh, what else? Like some of the other bosses that you fight, they, they're just kind of like they they uh they're pretty like threatening too. Some of the fight, some of the shit you fight, like this one like giant centipede robot guy. Like if if you fucking saw that in real life, you'd probably be shitting yourself. Um and. This is like the one game this like that that I've seen in like pretty much a long time, if ever. Actually, I think it's the only one that's done it since I've created my my quote unquote system. It's the only game that I that I've had a ten out of ten requirement for, and it actually met that requirement. Hmm. Well, yeah, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, because like one thing I do is that sometimes when when it's a game that's kind of got like a, a, a decently excited legacy and I'm a big fan of. Uh, I'll say like you know I'll give this game a 10 out of 10 even if it's absolute dog shit if it meets this one requirement I'll give the game a 10 out of 10. It was it just happened to be super fucking good too, but I but it met it met my 10 out of 10 requirement I won't spoil, but uh, it met the requirement and so it's just like even then uh, when, when without the requirement I, it was like still 
uh, point three points o away from meeting that uh, that uh, total anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, um, is there some stuff I wish they would have changed or added? Absolutely. You know, this is like as, as a fan, I'm, gonna, I'm always gonna watch more. But the finished product is just like fucking insane, dude. I like I friggin I yeah I I I 100% the game. Nice. Like, fuck yeah, I took my time and I fucking, like, really enjoyed the game because it's like, it's not only just like a super solid Mario game, it's like fucking, it, it's a love letter to the fucking franchise, too. You get so many fucking callbacks to old ass Mario games. It's good because, uh, there was even this one picture, like, I, I saw on the internet where it's just like, whenever you get, like, uh, one of those little power moves that you collect, mm. uh, someone actually took, like, the time to get, like, all the screenshots. And they actually found out that the the animations you do when you collect the Power Moon are from each of the separate uh, 3D Mario games. So right. you you do some of the poses from Mario 64. You do some of the poses from Sunshine. You do some of the poses from Galaxy. That like the game is detailed and fucking well crafted as hell. And if you're a Mario fan, you this is a must buy. Nice. Well, I guess that means my turn. <laughs> and I think it's all we all know what that's gonna be. The Warrior All Stars. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was actually gonna be an honorable mention, I just, but I was gonna right now. I don't need that. But uh, <laughs> it's clearly not the fact that John. No. <laughs> 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 of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah almost had me there, but. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, my number one of this year was also a surprise to me because I wasn't expecting much from it except for like a basic action slash kind of game and that was Nier Automotive oh you actually played Nier everybody and their mom is trying to get me to play that game I haven't played that game yet Dude, it's so good it's so good <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> It's one of those games where, like, you look at it and it shouldn't be that good, but it's so good. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone was expecting it to be super good because it's platinum. Which, yeah, that was one of those things. It's like, oh, it's platinum. Let me see. We're kind of crazy. This we're gonna go into that. It's like, whoa, what? <laughs> this should not be this. <laughs> I mean, most of the time, it, it pretty much it gets the whoa reaction. Hmm. It's just like with platinum, they did Metal Gear Rising. Or blah 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, so you expect it to be good, but really, it blew me out of the water how good it is. Like from beginning to end, and the, and the re replay value of how many fucking endings there are in this game alone is like insane to me. <laughs> I think there's, like, I, I think there's an ending for each of the alphabet, each letter in the alphabet. There is every single one. <laughs> and I know there's like a suicide ending. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when I saw that, because th this game for me was like Tales of Versailles for you, Eddie. I didn't care about the characters, and as time went on, I didn't want them to die. <laughs> 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 like, I, I wanted nothing bad to happen to these characters. <laughs> but no, that suicide ending automatically had me hooked. The second I saw it, I was like, that is hilarious. <laughs> 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 but that, that game is just... Oh my gosh, I cannot recommend that game enough. <laughs> like, just, just play. <laughs> like, that game will probably get you within the first five minutes. <laughs> and then it'll be like, what just happened? <laughs> but nope, that is my number one. Boom. You got to do it, boys. Talk to Mike. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <Yeah>. Boom! <laughs> Yep, we uh, did it. Our top ten, but well, top ten and top six for you, Eddie. But <laughs> top whatever the hell that number was. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I was just saying shit. <laughs> yeah, and then I know there was also some repeats. It was, and it was. It's okay. It's like the name. The, at least the names that I mentioned were very solid games. Yes. Yeah. Sure. It wasn't that. It wasn't. It wasn't that many. Like. Honestly, like the worst game on that list was probably Wildlands, and it's not even Wildlands' fault that it's that low. 
<laughs> yeah, it was that one still lasts effectively every time. <laughs> I it even remember to take that video. It was funny. It was funny as fuck. Like I kind of want to take that clip and add like a mash thing to it. <laughs> it's just like when you start flying up, you zoom in. Oh, for some reason I confused it with like a fucking yeah, intro tape. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> uh, it, it, the video you posted is the one with the where the helicopter blades just stop spinning, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I want to add the mash thing to that. Like the second it just starts up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I guess uh, do we have any personal topics that we want to discuss this time around? Games, games that you didn't think you enjoyed, but you ended up enjoying. Well, I already put it, like some of them on my top ten. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Uh, and I, like, it's harder for me because I tend to just pick and go for. I, I went for reviews mostly before I, I decided to uh, buy something. You know what? Actually, Brandon actually put one in there that I, I'll actually take that one. <laughs> take oh, Brandon. Gravity, gravity <laughs> Rush. <laughs> uh, gravity Rush 2. I didn't think I would enjoy that game because I didn't really like the first one. <laughs> but I did. I did. I enjoyed it a lot more than I think I ever thought I would. Like, that <laughs> is up there with a, a good bit of games that I played this year. I almost want to make it an honorable mention. Hmm. <laughs> There's mine. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the chat because I'm not on the webpage. But the... <laughs> <laughs> Your check will be going to now eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about you, Eddie? Because you run up the I didn't think I'd get back into Rainbow Six Siege at all, but but there's this tick, there's this tick that's got me back on this game. You know what? I guess I, I do have one now that I think about it, and it's actually funnily enough my number two. I didn't think I, I didn't think Mario Rabbit was gonna be. What happened? Because, uh, uh, like, for a game that I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy, but I actually did enjoy, was uh, Mario Rabbits. Because I thought that game was gonna be garbage when it came out. Mm. I was like, I was praying that I was wrong, but it, uh, and thankfully I was, but I thought I thought that it was gonna end up being bad. Nice. Well, that's good. So, yeah, y'all had games this year that were. I wanna give back. I want to play more Fortnite, but at the same time, I really, really don't need to. I mean, Jen still plays it. Yeah. Good for him. That's, that's, that's <laughs> cool. Why do I have Watch Dogs 2 on my PS4? Because I have Watch Dogs 2 on my PS4. Kind of que <laughs> what you kind of question is that? PS4. <laughs> no, uh, no, uh... I put I put my capture card on the screen this time, so that way say say if someone was coming to the stream to listen to us, there'd be gameplay like on the screen. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, but I didn't think I'd enjoy Warframe as much as I would again. Hmm. I should probably check that game out again. It's been a while. It's been a dog week since I played it. It's it's it it. The experience is only getting better. Hmm. Think about it that way. I mean, it's a grind. The game is a goddamn grind. There's no taking. Oh uh, yeah, that's the part of the reason why I left it. That's there's just no taking that away from it. But it's just overall, it's a much more enjoyable game. It's much. It's a much more enjoyable game than Fortnite PVE and Destiny Two and Destiny One. No, I mean. Those destinies, they're not that hard to leap to freaking cross. True. Final Fantasy XV is becoming better and better. I should, I should really play that one. I stopped playing Final Fantasy after 12, and I didn't even like 12. Final Fantasy XV was the only Final Fantasy RPG I've ever played. Hmm. I, I played the uh, PlayStation 1 trilogy. Those I really got addicted to. 
I want to finish this guy at five. I think that, I that think, one's good. I think I finished The Witcher three. There was a circumstance in the game that prevented my prevented me from playing it. Hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I guess that's it for personal topics. So that's just, we're just basically muttering. Uh, there's, uh, does Jess disappear? I don't know where the fuck he went. Hmm. One day I'm gonna try out Fairy Fencer. Hmm. I bought it when it was on sale. It was like five dollars. I'm just like, oh, I'll get a cheap lap out of this one. Hmm. Play Final Fantasy VI. Good luck getting me to play that one, man. Six and seven are pretty much known to be like the like top tier of Final Fantasies. Didn't the creator say like Final Fantasy Nine was the best, and then someone slipped him a hundred? <laughs> Probably. Um, I mean, this is like the only thing I was gonna do was fucking come up with like a bullshit topic of like you know, for a person was like, which one do you think is the best animal, and which one is the worst animal? In a gaming podcast, that's not good. <laughs> I know that's why I didn't say it. Like you, what you think? What you think we give a fuck about Peter in this podcast, son? We don't. Fuck that. Exactly. I don't bring Those up animals. Mighty bitches. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I didn't bring it up. There you go, Moosey. You're learning, man. <laughs> Pretty soon you're gonna be part of Skynet. Nah, well, I'll be the friggin' uh, corrupt assistant to destroy Skynet. I'll be like error, error 404. Goodness. Damn it, I still need one more point. Damn it, why? Okay, whatever. Uh, damn, apparently it just says that his mic stopped working. That is not good. Nope, no good. And like he freaking spent, uh, spent a shit ton of it. So, he better get a refund. Hopefully, you got the warranty, Jay. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Well, I'm pretty sure your voice settings are still the same, right, Jazz? <laughs> yeah, Brandon, I agree. We fuck cat girls up in here all day, every day. Okay. Yeah, nothing changed. It just stopped working. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess. I guess that's it then, because we, we got someone left, uh, someone dropped out, so we can't really finish personal topics. Uh, I mean, how excited, I guess, uh, how excited would you say you are for 2018, Eddie? Uh, I wouldn't want to say excited. I guess more or less determined. Hmm. Uh, because, like I said, like, in the beginning of this all, I'm changing my, like, screen name in the beginning of the year. But with that, but with that, with I'm seeing it as somewhat of a fresh start. So that, so at least it would, at least mentally, I think it would allow me to do more things, especially on YouTube and streaming. I mean, so long as I'm not working. Might as well do something. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I'm gonna, like I've only been putting Tekken on my YouTube right now. Well, first it was. First it was God yeah. Eater. First, welcome back, Jazz. Because at first it was God Eater, and then God Eater got me to 200. So now I'm doing Tekken, and Tekken is getting me on the way to 300. And Tekken's most likely going to end up uh, getting you further than that because it's something that you're passionate about, and it's something that doesn't really end. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, it's something, it's something... It's it's like Tekken is gonna be something that's probably gonna be a staple. I but I just don't. It's just the problem that I have with that is I don't I don't like I don't like that. You don't want it to be like just a Tekken channel. Yeah, I want to be a gaming channel, not a Tekken channel. And Tekken is not the community I want to build in. Hmm. No offense. Well, the fighting game community is not a community I want to build myself on. To get kind of stuck in there would be kind of bad. Yeah, because they're very close-minded and not welcome to change. 
You hear that? Mm. No, seriously. Oh, well. I mean, it's. Uh, right. Someone will see it as an insult, to which, yeah, you're right. It probably is an insult. But then if you're. If it's an insult, it's an insult. But if it's. Man, fuck you, Brandon. I can't teach you Tekken. <laughs> The Yoshi admin. You can teach him Yoshi. <laughs> I don't. He doesn't want to learn. He doesn't want to learn Yoshi. He wants to learn Lucky Chloe. Oh, I can teach you that. Yeah, exactly. Yo, talk to this nigga, not me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just down, just down whatever notations are that I'm not asking what he's for because I don't think he knows actual notations. <laughs> Damn son, what kind of teacher are you? Down X circle and. Just keep spamming us. You'll win like all your beginner matches. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like seriously, you probably will. <laughs> you are. Uh, you got any uh, personal topics, Jess? Yes, I was going to talk about something that is very daunting, called net neutrality. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bring everything down. So I'm going to talk about the fucking Golden Globes. Fuck that. <laughs> But, okay. uh, have y'all heard anything about the uh, Golden Globes? Uh, mm, nope. Okay, so there is a movie that came out. Uh, a very interesting, very good movie. Probably one of my top tens this year. Get Out. <laughs> a very good movie. And definitely worth uh, some awards, in my opinion. The Golden Globes has put it in their nomination. Now... If I told you that, Moosey, what would the nomination possibly be, you would think? Probably best four. You would think, but that is not what it is uh, put in for. It is actually put in for best comedy. <laughs> yep, <laughs> best comedy. <laughs> but Get Out, but Get Out is not a comedy movie, and it's that's your, and that's, <laughs> and, and that's your fucking point. <laughs> So, yeah, fuck Golden Globes. There's a lot of stuff like that happening. Like, apparently, things that are in the drama department that it could have been, there are a lot of movies that aren't even out yet that are on the Golden Globes nominations <laughs> that people haven't even seen yet. <laughs> like, Talk about <laughs> fucking rigged, eh? Yeah. Do the Golden Globes have, like, a horror section? They have, like, a drama thriller section, which is what it should have been in. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking like, okay, well, probably because they don't have like a horror section. But then you said, oh, uh, they have like uh, the drama thriller and a bunch of movies that are out. Get oh, out, yeah. in and out. Oh yeah, like Phantom Thread, The Darkest Hour, all these Oscar bait movies. Nobody's, not even critics have seen them yet. And, like a critic show. <laughs> that just to let you know that. <laughs> Is there like a petition or something? No, people are just probably not gonna watch the Golden Globes this year. <laughs> Let's be honest here. The Golden Globes is the discount Oscar. Where if you are very well known in Hollywood, you're most likely going to get in. Even if you weren't even in the movie that year. <laughs> the part I'm interested in is like the people that are going to be convinced to see the Get Out uh, because it wins best comedy. Like, oh, yeah, that was, like, uh, I'd love to see their reactions when they, see, when they watch the movie. Dude, like even Jordan Peele like, put out a tweet saying Get Out is not a comedy. It's actually a, a romance. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there was not, that was one, the big one for me, but there's a bunch of other ones. Like, uh, I think Disaster Artist got, like, something in the comedy as well, or something like that. When it should have got, like, biopic. <laughs> yeah. Because they picked up a good story. Yeah. It's going well as a joke. Don't watch it. Don't support that bullshit. I almost, I almost didn't watch the VGAs because like best ongoing game and Destiny Two was on there, and I about had a, I about flipped my fucking lid. Hmm. I'm surprised that was on there. It doesn't deserve to be on there. Hmm. Not probably just because all oh, this probably sells well, so there you go. <laughs> Like it pissed. I I like I was filled with seething rage when I saw Destiny Two on like Game of the Year and like Best Ongoing Game. I was like, it was also on for Game of the Year. It was on. It was on numerous fucking awards, and I'm damn glad it won zero of them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. God damn, that's fucking disgusting. That shit screamed rigged to me. 
Yeah, Activision must have paid him. <laughs> paid him to lose, nigga. Yeah. yeah uh, these are other movies that y'all don't know about, but I'm surprised I'm best comedy. <laughs> Yeah, that's like that's like that was like Get Out being considered. No, like, yeah, it's a comedy movie. Nigga, like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, I actually almost put a uh, Shape of Water on comedy. See, yeah, and I don't like, know what that is. I don't know how to categorize it. Yeah, I know, right? Well, Shape of Water is kind of the Guillermo del Toro thing of like a monster and a blind, not blind woman, a uh, mute woman. Yeah. Uh, rather say that this monster's fucking crazy and killing people and shit. <laughs> I hear it's good though. Okay. Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right. But, uh, there, there's a lot of that. And one thing that a lot of people are kind of mad uh, that is not in the drama section is uh, Logan. What? Well, I could be in the fucking move in the section. Hmm. Like it's not in the, uh, it's not in any category at the Golden Globe. That like is, the fact that that first gift? Come that, on! That's a travesty. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's like. It's probably people, people still go around like comic books. <laughs> mm. They're fucking up current noses and snooty ass action. Steve Carell is getting best performance out of the section. A comedy. I want to see. I'm surprised nobody talked about that because that other section is definitely not a comedy. It's a historical event <laughs> that happened. <laughs> that's it. Hey, Hugh Jackman's at least up for a possible award in The Greatest Showman, a movie that was actually terrible. But hey, he's up for something. <laughs> um, you know, at least he'll get an award for uh, after not getting any goddamn shit for. Bro, I like real life. I'm just really surprised it's not on the thing that like a, a movie that I when when I talked to my sister basically ended up telling me that all the men she knew after she after uh they saw Logan cried. Mm -hmm. It's it's just weird. <laughs> it's weird, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean glad you brought that up to the for the public to know. Oh damn, I almost thought they didn't put that on there. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck is Coco? <laughs> uh, oh, dude, if Coco was in there, I don't want to fucking ride it. No, he, he, they're on there. He was just at the bottom. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pixar deserves, like, oh, it should have its own category. Hmm. Yeah, that's my one for random stories. <laughs> fucking yeah, random. <laughs> <laughs> I liked all the uh, announcements, but fuck the PGA for putting Destiny in there. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Jumanji's actually uh, pretty good. I'm gonna see that tomorrow. Nice. I know how it is. Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, we, were talking, we were talking about this one. Do you have any, uh, any excitement for what's coming up in 2018? Uh, I mean, other than probably what's already been said, Monster Hunter, Dragon Ball Fighters, Evo Japan, um... I am only going to get hype for Monster Hunter World when I have the game. I, d I downloaded, I down, look, I mean, I was in the PlayStation Plus beta, and the public beta is just no different. So that's all the more reason why I don't want to play it because I'm not a beta. Like I'm not. I'm not too keen on the idea of I'm going to put twenty hours into a beta. I mean, there's only three missions in the beta. It's actually pretty solid. Yeah, I did them all. Hmm. Did you ever kill Diablo? Nope. Damn. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. There's no extra reward for beating it other than just to swing my dick around. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> well, sounds good to me. <laughs> I don't need that. Acc I don't. I don't need that accolade. <laughs> I have a dick swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, I, it's just I. I don't like that. That it just not not for me. I don't. I don't want to do that. Not in a beta. Now, when the full game comes out, I'll kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> like let like don't don't misunderstand. If it's in my way, I'll kill it. It's just the idea of putting it into a beta. You know, they have you complete every mission once. It's just like, hey, thanks for playing our game. Here's your, you're like, here's your free little booster thing you get when the full game comes out. All right, cool. Then they're like, do it again. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I understand. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I understand it's fun, but Jesus Christ, I can. There's a bunch of games I can play that are fun. Like an incentive for following up. Yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no incentive after the first initial time that you do it, other than like playing with friends. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm basically the same way with Vanquish. You know, it's just like after I beat it in normal mode, I'll be, what do I get after I beat that? Nothing. Pretty much. Yeah, and if you don't, uh, if you don't get anything, why bother? That's why I'm glad New Game Plus is a thing that exists. Hmm. Have you guys seen the the uh, Mega Man Palico skin trailer? I did. Uh, I, I did. Find that kind of funny. I <laughs> did. It was it was funny. He looks so out of place. <laughs> he really does. But I, I cannot wait to get that skin. I also like how uh, depending on what weapon you're carrying, you hear uh, uh, music in the background. Mm-hmm. I think that's actually a nice touch. This is not the same Capcom that made Street Fighter, is it? Mm, wasn't it Japan that makes Monster Hunter? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, so not the same one. So it's cause, because it's just like you see that Capcom and you can't help but feel it's like Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter. No, that was, that one was, this Street Fighter 5 was mainly made in America for the most part. No, you had definitely input for, from Japan, but the main thing was in America. Yep. I didn't know. So, I'm trying to think of like other games I'm excited for. Oh yeah, Nino Kuni 2, uh, Ghost of Tishimura. I'm not even having uh, Nino Kuni 1. I saw that, that ghost, the ghost, uh, that samurai trailer. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I saw that shit. That shit was fucking crazy. Like I don't even see much gameplay. I'm already like I'm I'm sold. You sold me. <laughs> There's a ghost, so I'm sold. Like, Did dude. You see the trailer, dude? Nah. Dude, when he interrogated that man's wife, he's just like, yeah. While you were studying the blade, I was studying your family and where they lived. Yeah. While you were doing all that training, I was figuring out where your mama stay, where your daddy stay, and where your grandma stay. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't that tall, I was thinking it's just like while well, you were saying that. Well, you cut out hella hard there. Then, then, like, then he asked, like, do you surrender? Nah, just cut to that entire village just burning to the fucking ground. Like, damn. Like, I want to know where this goes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, I mean... I guess that's it, because I'm, I mean, I'm hopeful that, like, 2018's entertainment is gonna, is gonna be great and improve upon the shit. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, we got a bunch of other games coming out. Spider-Man, Shin- bunch of, Man, bunch of uh, games, Man, bunch of game. movies, bunch of fucking, yeah. whatever the fuck. Persona 5 Crimson? No, no. Really I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing or not yet. I was about to ask. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright, be- well, I mean... I guess, like, I guess that's it. Yeah, that'd be it. Alright, so, we gotta sign off yet? Nope. <laughs> Alright, well, I almost wanna make it just go fuck yourself. <laughs> go fuck yourself. This is, you don't have a name yet. Peace out, bitches. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I almost wanna keep it like that for fucking, for the quote unquote season finale, but we'll see. Uh, all right. Well, we'll see. You. We'll see everybody later. <laughs> see. Wait. Hold on. We have to do this right. We have to make a proper outro. We're not gonna leave this shit all raggedy like this. I mean, we don't have fun. We're like, we're not really prepared here. Shut. We don't have a fucking name. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if we were prepared, we'd have a fucking name. We're not yeah. here. You're contributing. You're not thinking about this the right way. The group name is. We don't have a name yet. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what you said earlier, Boopsie. <laughs> so, I know. I said, well, that's the name of the podcast. Yeah, we don't have a name for this. Why not embrace it? Just make it our name. No name. That's what I said earlier. Nobody <laughs> liked it. <laughs> no, yours was like, or uh, in whatever such something stupid. No, not. I said it earlier uh, in the podcast. No name. 
That's our name. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll consider this. We, we have to brainstorm this. Which means no, again. <laughs> so I bye, didn't guys. say no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say no, I said we'll consider it. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him fool you like that, that's a no. <laughs> Who's the guy? My brother? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, that's the biggest you're talking to Ted. <laughs> you can go find his monitor, sir. <laughs> I get my revenge when we play Dragon Ball. Alright, well, we'll see everybody later. Yes, I have. I am your. I've been your lovely. I'm, I guess I'm not the host, right? No, you're the co-host. I'm the host. Okay. Well, I am your lovely host. Oh, host. Oh, I'm your lovely co-host. There we go. There, you go. there we go. We're working. Yeah, We're ironing it out. We're ironing it out. All right. Before you know, it's gonna be a hostile takeover. Yep. Sorry, a hostile takeover. <laughs> <laughs> By me. Oh. Right, well, he's, he, he was a lovely co-host. I will see. Oh yeah, yeah did, shit words. I'm getting shot in the face. It's like all distracting. Uh, I've been your lovely co-host Eddie. Uh, I will be reverting to Baker Gaming for the new year. I love you all, except Jazz, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> and that oh, woo was from uh, your lovely co-host. Uh, I'm my I can speak for myself, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know, can is just boy, This is your boy, Papa John, aka Cosmic Jazz here. This here is saying y'all have a blessed Christmas and a blessed New Year's Eve. We will catch you guys next year. Signing out. And my name is Mr. Moopsy, and I don't prepare enough for this shit. And we'll see you later. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude.